Ba-dum, 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 Guys. Guys! 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 Guys, it's here! Girls, one line two is here! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! You know, you know, you know, once upon a time, there was a game called Girls Frontline 1. People asked, well, if, there, if Girls Frontline Gwen is so good, how come there's no Girls Frontline 2? Well, here it is. <laughs> here it is! <laughs> ah! Uh, where am I? I don't know where to go. Here, here I am. Yes! <laughs> I, I'm... Okay, okay. I, I was not expecting the game to come out this soon. I planned to do it on Friday, but... You know, we were originally going to play NeuroCloud. We we're going to read Undyne's story, but, you know, I, I like Undyne. I like the Kudere lolly types with, like, silver hair, but, but, you know, <laughs> I got to get my priorities straight. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my priorities straight. It's a open beta, but soft. It's basically official release. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, um, yes. So, so we're, we're, we're going to play. We're going to play this game. I'm I'm so ex I'm so excited. I was originally not going to do this, but um, someone else decided that they were going to. Oh, I watched someone else play it. Uh, it was actually it's another streamer named Chaotic, and I realized, fuck, I I I, I, I need to play this now. I need to play this now. I can't hold it in. <laughs> I can't hold it in. Now, I don't know why, but my uh, my. My chat box isn't working. You guys should be on my left or my right here, your left. Um, but for some reason, the chat box is not showing up. I I, I don't know why. It, it was, it was, what what the hell? Um, sorry, a little bit of scuff. Let me go log on to Stream Elements and make sure everything's working. Make sure everything is working hunky dory fine. Cause that is very weird. I don't know why it's not showing up. But yeah, how is it good going, guys? Uh, my name is Yantino Hakia and Exiled Sun Raven, and today I'm going to be playing Girls Frontline Two, Exilium, or Exile in English. I don't know why they they can't seem to make up their minds if they want it to be called Exilium or Exile. Honestly, I think Exilium is really cool, um, but maybe that's just me. If we box in chat, maybe the chat box will reappear. Maybe. Let's go look. Which one is it? I've got too many chat box things on. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not showing up. It's not showing up here. Do I have my stream elements on? I do. I do, right? Yes, I do. This is super chess, so this should be working. Um, hmm. Very odd that it's not really detecting anything. Even though it should. Yeah, early Yule gift, yeah. Early Yule gift, for sure. Like, hmm. This is so strange. But you know what? I guess it's not that big of a deal if we don't have chat. It's not a deal breaker. It's it's not a deal breaker. I just, I'm just a little bit annoyed that it's not here. Maybe if I log out and then I re-log back in and then I, uh, who knows? Sometimes things just break, and you don't know why. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Center AC, oh my god, I hope I don't get... I'm sorry, I'm not Kuruko, I'm not my sister, I don't... I'm not a big fan of Center AC, okay? She's cool and all, but she's not for me. Okay, the, the chat box is not coming out, who cares? Um, I guess I'll go to... Well, let's just go hop into the game. <laughs> let's just hop into the game. 
Um, let's move over. And, oh yeah, I think I muted the sound, so give me a second. I've got to unmute that. Okay. All right, I got I got to block it out just for a second while I log in. So, excuse me while I do that. Um, it's not letting me log in. Uh, huh. And maybe I just restart the game. Um, that's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Let me try, let me try that again. I logged in earlier, so. Oh, <laughs> awkward. Go over here. Make my head a little bit less massive. Okay, the pop up is there. Logging in. All right, there we go. Let's go. The game is not capturing. Oh, it is capturing. Let's go. All right. Watch the opening again. It's all right, everyone's got their favorites. I, I like Diane as well. I liked Centauracy more at the beginning, actually. I don't know why. And maybe it's just Imoko's domination has made me, given me a bit of a sour taste. <laughs> My goodness. The game looks so much better now. Alright, it's in Chinese again. I, I don't remember how to read, but it doesn't matter. I, I don't know how to read in any way. We're gonna just speed through this. I'm not gonna read the story like last time. We're just here to see how the gameplay has changed. And, you know, we'll see how much we can play. But ultimately, I, I'm going to wait until we get to global, of course. You can play a little bit of CN here and there, but it's not that high on my priority. I just realized something. The, the game window is, like, so... It is, like, the completely wrong resolution. I don't know why it, why it keeps on changing like that. It should not... Right. I, I don't remember that. I don't remember that little cutscene happening. surrounded Go 
But we have this cat lady here. Who will gladly mow them all down for us. Thank you. Wait, was Tolalu here last time as well? I, I don't recall. Oh jeez. There isn't there isn't really much waiting now. The game just sort of blasts right through. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot less waiting. Yes. Yeah. Why did her ass go viral? I don't understand. So will someone please tell me why her ass went so viral? Alright, we're back here again. Oh my gosh. Bing chu Bing Vortex Chilling. Bing Chilling. How's it going, Dank? We were going to play Un Undyne's event in NeuroCloud, but the girls frontline too released sooner than I expected. And and I couldn't keep it in my pants. You know, figuratively. Um, I, ha I had to play it. If I didn't stream it, I would have just started playing the game off stream. And I, and I didn't want to do that to you guys. I didn't want to do that to you guys. Do have you seen the PV of like, you know, um, what was it? Um, Frontline Without Girls. <laughs> Where like, it was just like a slice of life. I'm like, wait, what? What is this? This is not girls frontline. Why is everyone so happy? Why is why is everything everyone so happy? Why is it all just wacky hijinks? That's that's not girls frontline. <laughs> girls frontline is about death and sadness and, and friendship and betrayal and espionage and and cold the cold reality of of governments that don't care about you. <laughs> And aliens and and cute girls, but 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 you know, <laughs> and also old men for some reason. Lots of old men. Love and hope, basically the sky cla spy classroom with more guns. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of cute old men too. Behavior yeah, is still kicking apparently. Dude must be in his 90s by now. Oh no, Groza. She's dead. Alright, Girls Frontline 2, Exilium. All right, all right. Let's go. My birthday. Um, my name, Hakuya. Let's go.
Okay, yeah, we're not gonna listen to this again. Fuck off. Fuck off, Sir Griffin. We 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 choose not to be on your party van. We're, in fact, instead we're stealing it. Yeah, apparently this mobile base we we have we just we just stole it. When um when when uh the neo soviet union was absorbed by the uh rosartris union and um all the pncs inside the neo soviet got absorbed as well um griffin received this big old mobile command vehicle and we just decided to steal it <laughs> and for some reason no one came after us <laughs> Okay, we're not, we're not gonna we're not we're gonna do this. Yeah, we we know what happens here. Okay, we got kidnapped by a bunch of assholes. Um, and we are getting rescued by our by our, our cute robot wives who have lives of their own and boyfriends of their own apparently. <laughs> Rent that face exactly. Leon's voice, yeah, yeah. It was, it's been here. I, it was here the last time I played the closed beta. Closed beta. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, some ver bad vertigo here. Oh, my eyes. Silly girl, we don't need a mask. We're already immune. We're already immune to collapse fluid. We don't need a mask. All right, let's go. So apparently they actually changed the game up a little bit. And, uh, and they're good changes, according to Seiya. They changed, what was it? They changed a lot of the things to do with damage calculation, so... Um, they changed the way that cover works. And the way that, uh, stability works. And they also added bullet weakness as well. In addition to the elemental weakness, we have bullet weakness. Right. Go pick up the box. Oh yeah, and apparently um actions don't waste like um what is it? Buttons don't waste a um don't waste an action anymore. So if you go to press a switch somewhere, you can walk or shoot after that. After pressing the switch. Right now, it's, they're telling us about cover. You suit someone, you know. If you flank someone while they're in cover, you can hit them harder. They have less defense bonuses. Pew 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 pew. pew, pew. And you're gone. Oh yeah, so this is what it is. So now there's two values. The shield is stabil stability. And I guess that's like how much the stability is. What is it called? Um, giving them extra defense. And the other one, the barricade here is uh, cover defense bonus, I believe. So if you destroy all of someone's uh, stability they can still get they can still receive cover bonuses whereas previously if you shattered all their stability they would lose any sort of defense bonuses which i thought was kind of silly it's like you know, what does stability even mean is it like 
Is it like, um, what, your sense of balance? Or like maybe your morale? So I don't get it. If you're like behind a piece of cover, it shouldn't matter how much, how clumsy you are, right? It's still a solid wall between you and the, you and them. Okay, skip, skip. Yeah, we got the discount metal gear again. Gotta run, run, run. Oh yeah, here it is. So it looks like there's five different types of... I mean, five different types of... Uh, bullet damage. We've got... Um, these are probably like... What is it? We've got... A low, small caliber pistol bullets. Typical rifle bullets. Um, sword. Shotgun. And a... I'm guessing this is a... Sniper rounds. Hello there, GBMB. How is it going? That guy's vulnerable to our pur purple stuff. I, I don't remember what purple stuff is. Corrosion? Like, this is technically still soft release, but I'm, I'm not sure what, um, full release would be. What, like, it's, this is technically the official release, right? Um, I don't expect that there's going to be that much of a difference when they do the official official release. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Experiencing all the surprise and little details. I have not, I mean, I only just started, so I don't really know. I did play the closed beta already, so I've got some idea how, of how the game works. Although the game is running so much faster now. Like, it is ridiculous. It's not, you can't even compare. It's going so speedy. And it just looks really damn good. Looks like they can actually do damage to you even when you're still in cover. Like before, like when you were in cover, you basically took no damage, but um, they changed it up a little bit. Okay, just run. Oh, looks like there's a uh, evacuation animation now. Nigerundayo. Sorry, maybe I'm not that high energy. I spent it all screaming earlier. Send off a hellfire. Kaboom. Got the cinematic. Unfortunately, I don't think they increase the frame rate in the cinematic. I mean, it still looks good. It's just not. Uh, it's not like you know. It's not 60 FPS. You know. This movie could stand to be a little bit smoother. Ooh. 
screaming at the new info today or something oh oh just screaming at the start of this stream <laughs> i was a little bit hyped to actually start this we were originally gonna do neural cloud but i changed my mind at the last second not the best cover if it doesn't stop it should return to standing in lines and firing volleys <laughs> Uh, I mean, that would make war a lot simpler. I think war these days is a little bit too complex. The disrespect. And I just noticed, you can see the uh, the teddy bear already. You can see his big purple teddy bear. I kind of want it. Did they just cut to him already being on board? And I think that's new. I feel like that's new. does a lot of falling it's only been like what 10 minutes into the game and gross has fallen twice commander's hair is different yeah he is uh, they changed his face as well he's a lot sharper and more grizzled looking he looks a lot more like um, Kruger I like that they decided to make him look like Kruger Koza needs a life alert. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Yeah, and our daughter does not know how to pilot the drone. Okay, skipping. Yeah, there's our face. Right there. Alright, we're in the game. Um, they added Latara. And wait, is that wait, is that Shoot, no way. Xenia, our our little machine pistol. She looks different. But she's still got that weird Ahagao. Or not Ahagao. I'm not Ahagao. Um, she's got that weird... Um, what do they call this again? Ahoge. Not Ahagao, Ahoge. I'm sorry. My, my, I'm still a little bit messed up from last night. That was a, that horror game creeped me the fuck out. I didn't get any good sleep. Um, so yeah, we've got... This is our banner. We've got... The usual suspects, but also we've got Mosin this time. Uh, the Nagant rifle, yeah. And announcements that I can't read. A lot of announcements that I can't read. Nice Rangra's chibi? Yeah, Rangra's does a lot of stuff for me. I'm, I'm really appreciative. I was thinking maybe I should ask them to make me something for this stream as well, but I think I'll save um, Gross Frontline 2 chibis for when Global is released. Yeah, Rangra's does a lot of stuff for me. I'm super grateful. And, and he always delivers super fast too. Extremely professional. I just wish one day he would do a drawing for me that's not chibi. He has not accepted any of my commissions to not do chibis yet. 
one of these days. When I first introduced Ahaga, I thought Ahoge would... Right. It's not just me. There we go. Wait, what, what, what? Did she just teleport back? What happened? Alright, so these guys are... Um... Solicificated uh, mole rats. Creepy little buggers. Uh, doesn't look like she's truly changed that much. Yeah, Nemesis is still mostly the same. Oh, those, those effects look so nice. Bro, do you mind? What? What? Yo, we've got reaction shots now. Yeah, so I did read on Discord. Um, I, be I believe what was it? assault type characters will do reaction shots when someone there, when an ally nearby is attacked, uh, and support types will help you fire. See how Nemesis' cake is compared to prior? <laughs> Wait, did they make it bigger? <laughs> it was already pretty big. A huggy sweater is a fur coat made of human hair. That, it, 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 I don't think I want to dress up in human hair. Kind of weird. Oh, wait. Can we? We can't pull just yet, can we? No, we can't. Can't pull. I would like to pull. Let me pull. Got to go to SL12. SL1-2. Where is that? What the hell is SL1-2? I don't see it. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's here. All right. That should be quick. The Jello fix is because yeah, I've noticed. It has been enhanced in some places, yeah. Jello enhanced. We're so we're so emo back. <laughs> we are definitely no. We are not emo co back. We are. We are Jimmy back right now. This is Jimmy's show. You know, I I stand Jimmy. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. The support shot. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yo, know, the game run. It goes so much faster. There's no more waiting. It could stand to make these guys walk a little bit faster, though. Thought I'd see him here after come across his league fan art years ago, right? And yeah, that guy was Jimmy's pretty based. 
He drew his first character, K KSVSK, KBSK, or KSVK. Is it KSVK or KBSK? I'm pretty sure it's KSVK. And like immediately after he like posted a reference photo, except the, the reference image like had a nude art as well. And I'm like, Jimmy is a man of culture. Jimmy is a man of culture. But he's also like crazy. He keeps on giving KSV, KSVK more more like different. He keeps on aging her up and down like he can't make up his mind. Like that is like some severe mental illness. But you know what? I dig it. The man, despite his mental illness, is he's happy. And is in the end, isn't that what matters most? Right? As long as you're happy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. It looks... I... I prefer her first design, to be honest. I actually prefer her first design, but... I don't hate the new design. I just forgot. I forgot. Wait, let me. Um, give me a second. I just gotta do something real fast. Let's take that. I'll just put it here. Let's continue. And Nemesis did not follow up on that. Why not? Why did Nemesis not follow up? Design in one was so rad, but you know, the cape, yeah, the tokusatsu, it was really cool. I loved it so much. Even the ridiculous cut of her pants. Okay, we got tickets. We can do our rolls now, right? Okay, our ship is unlocked. Do we even call this a ship? All right, don't be trash, don't be trash, don't be trash. Oh wait, no, this is Krolik. Yeah, this is Krolik. Move ball detectors is so good. <laughs> Never thought I'd see a commander who was a full blown Shuba either. Well, now you have. My sister also plays this. Well, yeah, she also plays uh, these types of games. Uh, she plays Neural Cloud as well. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, if you want to watch, check her out, she's, she's Kuruko Imai. I was collabing with her yesterday, actually. Could call it a land ship, right? Certain corporal v Wait, really? I want to see. Who, who did it? Who did it? Name the name. I give you permission. Oh, the UI, they made it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, they made the UI a little bit sleeker on the left side here with these little icons. 
Yeah, in the previous CBT, there was a build too much, too many button presses that were kind of unnecessary. Yeah. Okay, the cake. Oh, yeah. Did they really make the cake bigger? I, I guess they did, huh? Damn. Not a lot of uh, reactions still. Thought there'd be more. The gun stuff is nice though. I so said we're gonna meet their boyfriends. Yeah, have you you saw the video, right, Poke? <laughs> ah! You all had boy- I had a terrible dream. You all had boyfriends. And the gacha was just like Genshin. It was horrible. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Nemesis is fucking Batman. She's so cool. Click on the gun. Show me your reload. Oh, that's so hot. Mm. I want to see that again. Come on, come on, come on. Push the, pull the bolt out and slam it back in there. Oh, you can see the, you can see the bullet, the cartridge inside there too. It's so cool. And yeah, the, the cake. Damn, that is, that is, that is cake. That's cake for, that's cake all right. Yep. All right. Um, the doll's SVCH and her artist is a certain taco. Oh. Wait, Inna? Hollow from Hollow Life? SVCH. Huh. I wonder why she drew the I don't remember SVCH. Why did she draw her? Why did she draw her? I don't recall SVCH. Though maybe I do. Taco also worked on some dolls and ah uh, not a whole doll. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, it's her character. Damn. I didn't realize. Eh. Eh. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Let's get rid of this guy. Perception's been positive so far. I mean, of course it's gonna be positive. Mika cooks. You know, they've been making us wait all this time. I don't think they're gonna... You know, I don't think they're gonna mess it up. I wonder what type of life to have juggling between being a VTuber and an artist. Um, who knows? I'll be positive till we learn about all the girls' relationships with men who are not me. Wait, wait, they can both do reaction shots? I don't know how it works. I guess they only do it once per turn. I'm mistaken.
QBC, yeah. She has a boyfriend, apparently. I don't care. I really don't care. Okay. Um, go over here. Do your little fart. Alright, I guess we'll just go here. Boom. So apparently they made it so that even when you're in cover, or even if you lose all your stability, you can still deal damage. Or you can still... Cover still gives you bo bonus defense. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Don't know what this does. You need to take that manga panel from Onani Master Kurosawa. <laughs> ah! I'm surprised anyone still remembers that. Oh, jeez. Um, the bunny's dead. I... I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect the bunny to die. Um... Damn. They had grenades. Hey there, Armored Neko. How's it going? How is it going? I hope you've been well. But yeah, I remember the... The, Kuro, the only Master Kurosawa one. It's like, what was it? By the way, I'd like to introduce you to my boyfriend. Boy, bo bo boyfriend. And the guy just goes into a, a, a death spiral. How how did how did a guy like him end up with a girl like her? How? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I didn't think anyone still remembered that manga. Gosh. Only Master Kurosawa and um, Shikan Otoko were like so important to me when I was younger. There's actually like a, a Nico Nico, like a group of like fan fan dubbers who dubbed the entire comic in Japanese. I wonder what that artist is doing these days. Wait, oh, oops. I need you back in there. Wonder that art, what that artist is doing these days. I hope they've been able to, um, you know, find success and basically just enjoy life. In like the what, the 20 years since he drew that. Why aren't you dead? Okay, there, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Must leave for work. All right, see you around, stronger soldier. Um, I'll pray to Emoko for you while you're away. We might just get sent to Racy. What does this one do again? Uh, this one teleports you back. Regular slashing is no good. I wonder if the almost terrorist gets arrested. Uh, that would be funny, huh? I, I found this situation to be kind of silly. I never really paid much attention to it. Alright, shoot that one. Kaboom! They could have stood to give that a, you know, more explosive uh, sound effect.
Cool. How much HP do you have? It doesn't tell me. How do I know how much HP you have, sir? I know I do like 11 damage to you every tick, but like, I don't know how much actual HP you have. Ah, uh, well. The fart should finish you off. Oh, that's interesting. The bat has poison. Unselect, then click. Oh! This is why I love having you around, Armored Neko. And even if I only have one brain cell shared among me and the other Min's kids, if you're here, we can get past this without any issue. <laughs> We're just blazing through the mi missions. But it's actually genuinely harder than than the first time we played this. I don't remember actually I don't remember dying before. Yeah, they need they really needed to speed it up. Now, if I move correct, I believe that now when you flip a switch, everything should still be fine. Right? Like you should still be able to perform an action after you flip a switch. And you can! Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Can we move you? We cannot. Oh well. sound effects were so nice that sounded so good <laughs> wait you didn't die still didn't die oh okay never mind he, he did die the game just like it just thinks for you it just completely calculates the end result for you. That's so nice. At least they got the gun sounds. Upgrade from the little pew pews. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the Varjaegers, their, their, their sound effects sound a little bit like that too, actually. They do actually sound a little bit like... Like... Pew pews. Yeah, let's do this guy. Oh my god. You can like even hear like, what is it? The echo. That's so good. Wait, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that sounds good too. And follow up flag. I mean, what was it? Um, what was that space game that they made recently? Todd Howard's space game. Mm, that one wasn't really any good either. Starfield, yeah, that's the one. Starfield. I looked at, like, Kuruko is playing Starfield, and I just didn't feel any love for it. I didn't think the physics were any good. I didn't think the gunplay was any good. 
um, it just it failed to impress in any meaningful way. It's crazy how good sound tech is these days. Yeah, sound design is 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 an it is an art. I've seen sound people work in person at some studios before, and it is just how the fuck do they do it? No idea. The Walmart Metal Gear. All right. Same as last time. We do the. Oh yeah, these things shoot you if you come too close. I think. So I feel it felt like an old follow in space that worked for me. Yeah, it's just it's more mainly the 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 um the technical part was just not that impressive. Like it felt like a game from the two thousands, except it was made in the current di modern day instead, and it's just not very impressive. Right, the technology is it is woefully ina inadequate considering what it was supposed to be sir that's very rude of you what is going on i'm gonna push this button now and then we're gonna hit this guy in the face. Can we shoot you? Yes, we can. Starfield might live in flourish if it has support. I don't I don't think anyone wants to support it. I don't think I've seen anyone want to actually try to support it. Unfortunately. These people just are not interested. I think Bethesda's late has been anti-modding community. I think they've just been anti-everything in general. They've just not been making good stuff. can't hear any of what that dude is saying. <laughs> it's just drowned out by the gun. Okay. So, alright. Grab that. Continue shooting him in the face. time they never do what's been good yeah i'm making a good playground but no even begin i think fallout 3 was actually pretty good for its time like fallout 4 was already a little bit outdated but i feel like fallout 3 was actually pretty damn good sir why are you not dying Never mind, we're good. Oh, okay, that feels good. The sound of it collapsing. It didn't make any sounds when it broke down before. 
Goodbye, daughter. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, we can modify our weapons now. Chapter 2. Single signal. Uh, no, chapter 2 is called the second signal. Let's see. Can we get some rolls? Why can't we get this? Hmm. Oh, we need to finish off these things first. Yeah. Good thing she can't tell she's being skipped. She'd be pushing, busting out about. Eh, Shiki Khan doesn't love me. He just wants me to work all day long. Yeah, abusive father simulator. <laughs> Abusive single father simulator. All right, let's. Um, what do we do? What do we do here? How do we start this off? Do you think you can get away? I am a very sly individual, after all. I think I could do it. People would argue, oh, it's sci-fi, so it isn't real, but I don't know. Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, right? They're just making excuses for Todd Howard. It'd be nice if we could get someone who could fire at any means when they're moving. Like their reaction trigger would be if an enemy is trying to run away. That would be pretty cool. Hmm. Right, I guess we're gonna go here. I just realized I didn't touch the graphic settings yet. Should probably do that. Um, that's the angle sound voice. Um, I don't think we can do it here on this screen. Yeah, we gotta get back into the law, um, into the sh main menu first. Why are you not dead? Why are you so resistant? How dare you! This is just so miserable. Okay, I get what she does there. She actually lowers the enemy's defense. Pretty cool. It'll be super interesting to see how they add new mechanics in the long run. Considering GF1 got fairies, hawks, SF, mm hmm. Alcala, how does this always happen? How are you always behind? Maybe an update that adds general skill trees for classes like XCOM. I mean, there actually is a skill tree in this game already, isn't there? Pretty sure it already exists. Yeah, it's here. We just can't access it. But there is a skill tree. Let's um, 
We can't upgrade you right now. What the heck? Yeah, the game won't let us upgrade them. Alright, let's... I think we can do our... Yeah, we can do our pulls right now. Um, this is a targeted pull for Tololo. And this is the beginner... Yeah, this is the beginner banner. Let's do it. Um, oh, we don't have anything right now. <laughs> Whoopsies. Let's do it real quick. Just gonna get the rest of these real fast. Tolo's in the beginner banner. Mm. Well, this is an interesting situation to put us in. You can actually be behind even if the stream is live, but you can catch up by... Oh yeah, you can do that too. I've done that before. Yeah, guys, are you the type to... To like, um... Are you guys the type to to uh, play videos on like 2x speed? Because I, I definitely am. I tend to watch videos that are like really long, like at least 20 minutes long. And I'm incredibly like impatient these days. I don't like it when people take too long to speak. So I just, I crank up the speed. Sometimes I go to 3x, but when you, when people are talking at 3x speed, it, it's it's kind of hard to um, understand what they're saying. Time to get the credit card. I am not. I am not giving any my any of my money to the to the Chinese server. Um, I'm not staying on the Chinese server, so there's no there's no point. In fact, um, even if I wanted to pay for the Chinese server, I think I'd have to jump through some hoops in order to get it to work. What's the fire that gets ruined by speeding it up for long? I just use that as motivation to organize my time. Mm. Yeah, I did not organize my time very well. Um, I I basically decided to change this into a girls frontline stream at the very last minute. At the very, very, very last minute. Like, the thing I, I don't understand is they don't really tell us if we're getting a support attack. I wish they would make it more obvious. just barely survive that's 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 so frustrating <sighs> support attacks are counted in the previous so you don't really need to worry about it yeah still i would like to know if it actually is ha gonna happen i'd like to be aware of it like there's anyone else oh it actually does say yeah it does say there's a little pop-up over nemesis's head con raven hello there chibity good evening good evening uh, as you can see we are playing girls frontline 
How are you? How are you? I'm I'm having a great time right now. Um, I just wish the global would come sooner. So far, this game's yeah, it's it's a lot more. Because when I was playing the the closed beta, it was like very easy, like brain dead even. But they've actually, well, they they sped up the game a lot. The animations run faster. There's a lot less loading. Um, enemies are actually kind of threatening. Even at this very beginning, first chapter, it can be kind of scary. Like bunny girl there died earlier. Just because I was not playing very smartly. I know some people want to do dailies. Just don't want really to be involved, that's true. I mean, there's people like that, but I play for the story. And I tried my best not to do the competitive stuff, but like... I also want free pulls. <laughs> It, just, it really just depends how much time you have to play the game, right? If you can afford to wail, then you can wail. I know Kuruko doesn't really... She just does a dailies and she just... Um, and she reads the story events when they come out, but she doesn't do any... Anything to get extra pulls. Which I, honestly is probably smart of her. Um, it is... Sometimes it just takes up too much of my time. I revisited an old tradition and then I watched a Ghibli movie and now I'm watching a stream. Oh, do you watch Ghibli movies around Christmas time? Or do you just mean Ghibli movies in general? Like, man, they, everyone moves so fast now. Which, you know, would is very important because you know, with, in, in today's day, people don't like to wait. People just do not like waiting. Yeah, th like that. I don't want to wait like that. Just speed it up, please. Chop, chop. We've got a limit limited amount of time to play this game on stream. You have that 2x speed the whole time, but aren't aware of it. I'm not sure if there is a 2x speed in this game. People usually award the daily grinders, yeah. I mean, there's like extra free pulls if you do the competitive stuff. And then there's the battle pass stuff, but I hate doing battle passes. I just, I really don't like doing battle passes. It's annoying me so much. Nemesis is really slow. She does not like walking. There's a 3x speed in the upper right corner. Is there? Did they finally add it to the game? I don't see it. Oh, you're right! Zoom in! Oh my goodness. We can go even faster. Gotta go faster! I got a need. A need for speed. 
Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's so much faster, thank god. <laughs> this is like ludicrously fast. Miko was like, you want fast? I'll give you fast. Alright, just <laughs> tighten up your belts, buckos. We're speeding through this. Uh, no, there was a period early on where half the time I'd only catch a stream after watching a Ghibli. Oh, that's interesting. The way that timing shakes out. I think I'm getting gonna get whiplash from how fast this is actually. Might actually be a little bit too fast. Oh, you can actually see their their um status. How did I not notice that? We are just zooming. Get rid of that. Oh, wait, you're not dead. Still not dead. Let me get rid of you first then. Well, you're dead anyway. Get that way. Nope. Would you? Yes, you. <laughs> this is just ludicrously fast. It's so ridiculous. Finish him off. You know that move surprisingly does very little damage. <clears throat> Why does he have so much HP? in the heron hmm i have not seen that one but i've heard of it i know what it i know what it is okay we've finished all of chapter one and that should give us enough pulls i believe enough stuff that we can actually do a proper pull i think found an error already but don't worry about it this one you want this one or maybe it's this one okay there we go there we go we should have enough to do with the the beginner banner now all right let's go guys wish me luck we're gonna do a poll who do you want who do we want on this banner? 
you know we haven't played with um with Mosin Nagant, so maybe we'll want to get try getting Mosin Nagant. Um, I like Ksenia. I don't know why they made her hair purple though. I liked her with black hair. MP7's good. Latara's cute. Um, I really want Nagant Revolver. I love her. I don't know what her name is though. I don't know what name they gave her. No wait, they just gave, they just gave her Nagant. Her name is just Nagant. Um. Wait, what did they name Mosin Nagant then? They couldn't have just made, named her Mosin Nagant, right? Like it's the same word. So this is Nagant. This is also Nagant, but it's something in front of it. I swear, if they just called her Mosin Nagant, that's just. <laughs> Imagine naming your daughter Mosin Nagant. Mosina? Isn't Mosina just like a fan name? Got cat again, so I can't complain. The cat cake. Alright, let's go. Don't be trash, don't be trash, don't be trash. Give me an SSR, come on. I'm fucked. No! No! Oh, this is depressing. Well, at least we got MP7. This is so depressing. This is so depressing! What is this? What is this? Someone fucking kill me. <laughs> I hate it. Fuck it. She got downgraded, that's why. Oh my god! I'm getting trolled so fucking hard. At least I got in the gun. Oh, she was locked behind a battle pass last time. Ah, oh, there she is. Hmm. Did I receive the mails? Oh, there's mails. Um, where's the mail? Let's see, um... No, this is a shop. I don't think I can get mails? Wait, is it here? No, it's not that. A... Nice. Not here. Oh. How did I miss that? I feel so stupid. I feel so dumb. Where's the mail? Lower right. Hey, sh 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 shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I guess we can do a little, we can do another poll. Time skips and lack of PMC equipment. Um, I'm, I'm getting so, I'm getting trolled so fucking hard right now. Ah, 
I don't think... I don't think the beginner banner has pity. This is all bullshit! This is so bullshit. Fucking chaotic got... He got Tololo in his first pull. I fucking hate him. Fuck that guy. Ah! Why? Where's my streamer luck? You're getting one SSR as a pity. Wow. I hate this. I hate this so fucking much. This is the worst. I hate you. I hate you. I hate. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I get, I am hitting pity, huh? This is the worst. This I didn't even get a character this time. <gasps> oh, it's the Genshin curse. I, I guys maybe I should just quit gotcha maybe I should just quit gotcha in general like it's no more gotcha right just no more gotcha gotcha is bad civilization oh who do we get like, don't tell me it's an SSR weapon. Oh, I'll be so fucking mad. Or you can write off on stream gotcha pulls on your taxes. I can. You can. Okay, I'll take this. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm, they added voicing to the scene now. First shotgun, yeah. Alright, we got our first little dupe. Okay. It's still pretty bullshit, but Do we have a better weapon for you? No, how do I change it? There we go. And look at that. It's like comparing a a cheap $10 airsoft to like a slightly better airsoft. It still looks like airsoft, but it looks like a better one. Right. It, it's like comparing a cheap 10 10 year old pea shooter to um uh, to um something you might find in an air shop airsoft store for maybe a couple hundred dollars. I do like the Nagant revolver's design though. It's got this really weird thing where when you press the trigger, the entire cylinder goes forward to uh, form a seal with the barrel, with the chamber, so that n none of the gases leave. Um, like, none of the gases kind of escape from here when it fires, so that it actually is really good for... What do you call it? It can actually accept suppressors, is what I'm trying to say. Is that this gun is like a, it's a revolver that can accept suppressors and actually have them do something suppressible yeah that's what and poke you knew you knew what, what i was gonna say all right so we've got a dupe so let's go ahead and do that but i, I don't know what this does it, it does something though um Something higher by 20%. I don't know what. 
I'm not sure what exactly is higher by 20%, but something is. I think we had changed the background music here a little bit. I do like it quite a bit. I want to ki see a kid version of the game where the guns are all <laughs> colored orange. I'm sure you could mod it. I'm sure you could mod it to do that. You're talking about Blue Archive there? <laughs> yeah, if you want your funky looking guns, you can go to Blue Archive. It's extremely popular in Japan right now. God, she's so cool. Uh, Blue Archive is nice because it's fun. Like, I saw one video of a uh, boss fight where, how do I say this? Where it was like a, it was the Blue Archive mascot, except it became like Godzilla sized. It became kaiju sized and you were helping a giant robot fight it like you weren't controlling the giant robot the giant robot was fighting the uh, giant mascot um kaiju and your player characters were tiny little dots on the screen scurrying about at their feet <laughs> i i find that to be very charming Incredibly charming. Right code, Sarah code. Man, Sarah code is not worth it. They went all in in the butt modeling. Yeah, someone here really likes butts. Yeah, I think maybe the thought. I think, like, if you see like everyone, they're every character's breasts are covered. Like, there's like no cleavage. I have a feeling that. It has something to do to do with um you know state censorship <laughs> state censorship as expected i'm sure it'll lax up it'll get laxer um after release but right now it's it's very tight Had a better gun here. Okay, I'll take that. Let's go ahead to chapter two. Or apparently we can farm for resources. I forgot what these ones were, but let's go ahead and do it real quick. Oh, I forgot to upgrade them. Oh, whoopsies. That's fine, right? None of these guys really care about blades. Just go ahead and do this. Okay, what do you do? Um, you lower enemies' armor, you do something. I, I, I don't know what she does. Wait, did she just... Did she just smash the entire cylinder out of her... Out of her gu What? 
That is so freaky. Oh, they, they lowered the AOE on her, on her grenades, on her little lollipops. Hmm. Uh, they nerfed her. They nerfed MP7. Hmm. Poor Cheetah. She was too overpowered. Oh yeah, they, they lowered the AoE on Sabrina as well. Yeah, she's not as overpowered as before either. Due to the way that they changed the um, effects of cover with AoE. Provide support attacks now after using her ult. Ah, see. If Genshin Impact no longer draws in lots of revenue and seems like Red Bit and Hoya would design more loot characters. Uh, I don't think they can because um, it's considered like a cultural export. So it's they've got... They're under very watchful eyes. Yeah, they have to be very careful. Um, it has to conform to, you know, whatever's, you know, politically or socially acceptable in China. They can't stray from the party line. Overall, it should be higher. Uh, let's hope. Let's hope. I still don't know what Nagat does. I have no idea what she does. Okay, we gotta end this in six turns. I see, I see. Bro, you do no damage! This is the worst. Gotta get rid of the frogs, they are a menace. Oh, dang, that's pretty. I wonder if it deals damage to like surrounding it units as well. Wait, you can shoot before they attack?
Um, oh, she's stunned. Blast him. As much as you want this game to be successful, you don't want it to be too successful. Yeah. It is strange how things work. Wait, can you walk? No, you're too... Too slow. Yeah, she just knocks out the entire cylinder. Dang, I don't, I don't think... I don't think that gun's supposed to do that. I, I don't think that's how that gun is supposed to work. Revolver owners everywhere crying. I mean, it looks cool though. Set him on fire. Yeah, I keep forgetting how how Cheetah's outfit makes it look like she's not wearing pants and you're just getting like a shot of her underwear. I'm pretty sure that's not actually her underwear. That's like she's wearing something. But uh, but it feels so wrong. It feels like I'm getting an upskirt all the time. Mm, it would damage the cylinder. Yeah. I completely understand. But we don't need these. Good chapter 2. Blaze through it. Oh wait, I forgot. I completely forgot. Oh well. I keep forgetting to change the graphic settings. Though I feel like the game probably remembers my graphic settings. Wait, what was that? She made she made this like tune tune sound. I'm like, girl, what are you what are you saying? Should go from here. Get rid of that first. As for you, um, Stomach problems is the reason why she's farting fire. <laughs> oh, what the heck? That thing hurts. Hey. 
Those spiders hurt, jeez. I see what you mean when you say that she does more damage now. How much of the game can you understand? None of it. And I'm not talking about the Canadian province. Or territory. I lied, I can understand maybe like 2% of it. Um, but I can't really read Chinese. So it's very difficult for me. I feel like using the sword should ignore cover. It does ignore cover? Oh, maybe her damage is just low then. Surprised the voices are Japanese? I mean... I mean... Japanese people are weebs too, you know? The Japanese are weeaboos. You know, it's getting English and Chinese voice acting is so rare. It's becoming more common, but man, what was it? The other game, um, Snowbreak, which by the way, this game is going to steal their lunch when it comes out in English. Snowbreak, they just gave up on their English dubbing. Apparently they were, they were not making enough money with it. Uh, and they realized people were not using the English dub because I'm going to be honest the the direction in the English dub was bad um, and so they just gave up they're like okay we're not adding English voices after this it's going to go to Japanese or Chinese voices <laughs> pretty much they just they just did not have enough money people were not interested in it because it was frankly not very good Also have Chinese options, yeah. Um, it's Chinese. I mean, most of the games had Japanese voice acting to begin with. I mean, Girls from Online One didn't even have Chinese voice acting. It didn't exist. Like, I think Genshin... I'm not sure if Genshin was one of the first to have Chinese, but it was one of the first that I saw people actually use the Chinese. Uh, I feel like Chinese voice acting in, in, in... Even in Chinese games was not very common until recently. Because voice acting is very... How do I say this? It's a very new industry in China. They've just started really putting out good stuff and you know there's a lot of really talented voice actors in China. Like I'm just thinking of what is it? 
madness and healing chapters those those little shorts the chinese voice acting in those was really good it was incredibly good mobile game too yeah being able to fit a bunch of different languages inside a mobile game is difficult though it's gotten easier now because of how much storage space mobile um mobile devices can hold now like genshin could only have been genshin because of how much better your average smartphone was getting Junya. Yeah, I, I, I love that. It came out, the whole Junior thing came out of nowhere, but it was just so precious. No. Only, only Mandarin. Like, Chinese media, it, it pretty much is just Mandarin. Um, it's, it's, how do I say this? They, they pay lip service to the idea of being multicultural in China with like all their different, um, ethnicities and cultures. But like when it comes down to it, everything's just in Mandarin. You'll never see stuff, media come out in other languages other languages or like what they call dialects um it just won't happen unfortunate it's unfortunate but that's just how it shakes up point the Japanese didn't have the same feeling yeah they didn't appreciate girls frontline though it was just girls frontline came at a bad time for Japan um, the hype had already died by the time it was released the game was severely outdated you know most mobile games run out of steam by their second or third year. And by the time that the Japanese version came out, it it was already like three years behind the Chinese version. Yeah, I can't make cheap gacha games these days. They have to be good. They're saying how you can like shoot through fences. Um chain link fences in in these but you can't walk through them but i don't feel like if you tried to shoot through a, a chain link fence like it wouldn't be impossible but it would be very annoying if you tried to do that in real life it would be very annoying Phones are getting more powerful these days. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Phones are getting so much more powerful these days. You're using the Obama phone. <laughs> Obama hasn't been in office for years, yo. Obama hasn't been in office for like, what, eight years now? He's, whoa, they, they are hurting. The bunny is in great pain. I don't like this.
I don't like this. The program is still there. The Obama phones are still... There's still a thing. That's, that's actually kind of amazing. That guys look like a roadhog skin. <laughs> and you're not wrong. So is free, I got a feeling there's a catch, like government surveillance and tracking. Oh, don't worry about that. The government's tracking you regardless. You don't have to be worried about government surveillance. They're doing that by default. So I can change the settings. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, we're already at 120 FPS. Um, bloom. Yeah, everything's already at the highest settings. I do it for you. I just want to get to the parts where we can see Shiki Khan's face and he's, uh, he's all grizzled and handsome. Some stupid loophole shit? Yeah. I can see that. Let's see. Right, we gotta upgrade. Gun twirling. <laughs> why does she do it? Because it looks cool, that's why. I guess they're not going to inundate you with level up animations. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty silly, isn't it? We've got an intruder. <laughs> okay, we just got the dorm. This is how they introduce the dorm. Bruh. She's got drool coming out of her mouth. That's... <gasps> Mika! This is not how I wanted to be introduced to the dorm system. She can't hair shorter now? No, they made it longer again. 
Don't worry about it. GFL2 is perfect for NTR. Shut up! <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> Quiet! Shush! Ah. <laughs> uh. Wake up! Wake up! I'm not paying you to sleep! Oh my goodness! At least she wiped her. Oh, it's back! <laughs> she wiped her drool and then she just started drooling again! So this is still the beta version of the dorm, apparently. Um, I don't know what this heart is. Bro, what are these camera angles? What are these poses? What are these poses? So whoever whoever designed this is an ass man for sure. Yeah, they they are an ass appreciator. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, <laughs> whoever designed this dorm is an ass appreciator. Some someone on the team really likes ass. Like we probably like eat ass every day. There goes the stream. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. I thought my OBS froze again. Oh, Nagito-san, konbanwa. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> don't say that. I thought I thought my OBS like I thought my OBS uh, froze again. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is like for changing clothes, I guess. Is it me? Do they make her taller all of a sudden? I feel like she was shorter. Um. We can read her diary, because, yeah, of course, I won't respect my doll's privacy. Ah, uh, yes, the year 2073. We're still using CDs. But they're like, I don't know, hyper discs or something. It really does kind of bring me back, though. Those old cardboard sleeves that you'd have for your discs. Takes you back. I kind of miss that. Old media. I have. I don't remember the last time I've seen a, a a disc drive on a PC, or even just like discs in general. They're a uh, forgotten technology. Snowbreak is like that too. Enough about Snowbreak. <laughs> no one remembers that game. That game is dying. Like, I'm sorry, but Girls Frontline, it's not, it's a different gameplay genre, but it's the same genre of girls. And they're just gonna, <sighs> Snowbreak is just, Girls Frontline 2 is just gonna eat Snowbreak's lunch. There's, there's no two ways about it. They just have not been really handling their game all that well. Like if Girls Frontline 2 can get English voice acting, it would be amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm not sure if Mika team could handle localization on that level. Like even Genshin is just barely putting out good uh, dubs for their Genshin. Right? Um, there was that incident a couple, maybe half a year back, where it was revealed that the English voice actors for Genshin were not being paid. Right? And, you know, sure enough, it was not the fault of Genshin themselves. Um, it was the studio not paying the voice actors, but still. It is, it is hard to find good quality English voice acting um, for gacha games. 
like just coordinating between the game studio and the recording studio very difficult finding someone who can record anime styled english voice acting that sounds good is not easy it's not easy i'd have money towards more content than ian voices i mean you know people are allowed to have um people are allowed to enjoy what they enjoy right i i believe i like variety you know if it did have good english voice acting i would probably be like switching between japanese and english and maybe even the chinese sometimes all right what can we do here let's do this actually do we even need to do that can we just shoot that thing out right we cannot it's fine this is okay one shot it nice um, translator change of context uh that's it's not the problem with the localizer that's more a problem with um a lack of experience on the end part of coordinating Okay, we picked up something don't know what but we picked it up like that's what we were having troubles with when it came to reverse collapse like it's not confirmed but i i would hazard a guess that the reason it got delayed again was um they had to redo the translation I'm not sure if it's a lack of experience when you see incel on gamer i mean i'm i'm talking specifically about gacha games right whatever problems that happen in anime or or what happened in anime they are you know it's sometimes it's the same people working in it but you know anime voice acting like people who handle that stuff like it's a different process than than game than video games especially like you know really big video games like like genshin they will watch you like a hawk and make sure you don't you know change anything that was not intended I've noticed games pulling from weird voice pools like almost nobody had credits. Yeah. I mean, FF16 was a, it was a British project, right? Um, and I'm glad. I, I like, I think it's good to have variety. Um, you know, I know Obake Pam, another VTuber, she talks about this all the time. That she enjoys seeing variety in voice acting because like oftentimes it's the industry draws from the same pool of people over and over. And it's like, yeah, some people are really talented and they're professional. They always provide what is asked for them, which is, you know, you always want to have some consistency when it comes to making money, when it comes to a business. Um, but, you know, oh, obviously we, we'd like to experience new things every now and then, don't we?
Another source of Tim's confirmed that Nemesis Cannon had be head padded. I could not figure out how to get it to work. I could not head pad her. It would not allow it. Small World heard about her karaoke festival from another white haired. Oh, yeah. So, shameless plug here. I'm going to be participating in a in a concert, a uh, Christmas concert run by Obake Pam. It's going to be happening on this Saturday, actually, at 4 p.m. PST, um, 7 p.m. EST, I believe. And I'm going to be part of a... Well, it's a concert and there's going to be multiple songs. I am in one song. Um, and I think you guys will, will really like it. So please, if you do... You know, if you're free on Saturday, please do come check it out. There's lots of very talented VTubers. In fact, there's just lots of VTubers in general. Last year, there were 60 VTubers. This year, there's 150 plus. So it's a, it's kind of crazy. I'm surprised that that um, Pam was able to organize this, considering that. Well, she had two weeks basically. She basically only had two weeks to edit, um, create all the promotional material. You know, piece together everyone's submissions for all the songs. She's kind of superhuman like that. I don't understand how she could do it. Then again, she is the CEO CEO of Play Asia. Um, something crazy. <laughs> uh, that's probably why she was able to do that. You know, being CEO gives you superpowers apparently. Let's just go here. Why are you not dead? Why are you not dead? Why are you not dead? Why won't you die? Why won't you die? <laughs> Nano machines, son. They harden in response to physical trauma. seen relays with small numbers before so that's pretty cool step up yeah i'm pretty sure no one i'm pretty sure pam is like trying to make sure that no one will ever beat her when it comes to the number of of uh, vtubers in a collab she's just trying to make sure that it'll never happen she'll never be surpassed can go here Use our ult. Ada Wong voice. Yeah, something really wrong happened with the casting for Ada in RE4. Something just really wrong happened. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't hold it against the voice actress. I don't think she's a bad actor. I just think that uh, whoever casted her really fucked up. Whoever gave her the role was made a made a big mistake. I don't think that was her fault in any way. Uh, hmm, I guess we can do this. And I forgot how the bear works. Um, so I'll just hazard a guess. Right? <laughs> uh, I guess that's how it works. Um, was not expecting that. So she's ready to surpass it herself. I mean, that's what she's doing this year. She went from 60 to 150. <laughs> More than doubled it. 
I, I fear for what happens next year. You know, she tries to do a 500 person collab. That might be, she might, she might just die. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I don't know how she's doing all this in two weeks. She only had two weeks and she was able to get it all together. Get it all put together. I, I have no idea. It took me two days just to record. Don't need numbers when you could just do Nothal and different people. Mm -hmm. Last thing I ordered was Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Oh, that's a long time ago. That is so long ago, man. Well, these days, games are not as re not region locked like they used to be. So Play Asia has had to um, change their business plan to um, offering limited edition collectibles and like premium um, package goods. Like say if you buy maybe a certain game only comes with a special edition bundle that only exists in Japan, in which case you'd ha you'd have to go through Play Asia yeah. to get it. But that stuff's kind of rare. It's rare. Okay, we don't using you. We're using Nemesis. Okay, now they're explaining the way that high cover works. Or rather, that it does not work at all. This is the wrong spot to put Nemesis. Okay, we'll have you stand over here. And we'll do this. Nemesis to go up here. Press this button. I don't know what it does, but it does something. the heck no, I won't question it I won't question it get rid of the frog first I don't like the frogs the frogs are bad news get rid of them here's a grenade here that does not kill them but I guess if you're a part of it, you might know Risuri. Um, Risuri, um, I feel like I've heard her name somewhere before, but I, I'm not sure. No, I've definitely heard her name somewhere before. But I, I'm I don't know them personally. Bye bye. Wait, why what are you doing back here? Why are you all the way back here, Nagant? My goodness, girl. This is a terrible place to be. Oh no. I've only played Lethal Company once, but it was actually really fun. I played it with my, with my, um, with my 
artist family with my my um my vtuber sisters as well as our my vtuber mama my illustrator uh, we all played it together actually my min's mama is in japan right now and i'm actually going to be going to japan next week so that should be really fun like i'm, I'm actually going to be away for five weeks but i'll still be streaming Let's see, what do we do here? Who do we shoot? Who do we shoot? Why won't you just die? Okay. Kill these frogs. <laughs> JS, JP ISP, my prices must be pretty good. Um, I'm just going to use the hotel internet. <laughs> I'm not going to buy my own internet. Ouch, Babushka's in trouble. Yeah, you don't need to do any modifications to bypass region lock these days. So it's not as much of a priority as it used to be. Nobody does enough damage. Nobody. Poor Babusha is going to die no matter what she does. Does anything reference Raiden? I would be surprised. Yeah. Stop a moving. Uh, stop a giant submarine. That'd be pretty cool. Can't hit him. if you're just rushing the game at this point not really leveling up characters that's the difficulty is showing I, I actually have been leveling them up they've legitimately made the game harder compared to the um, closed beta so I'm, I'm not thinking it through not using my big big raven brain i've reverted to crow brain which is not nearly as big as doing the boring stuff like taking to grind time to grind who needs to grind i'm a sun raven oh we're surrounded Lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Why are we surrounded? I don't like this. I really don't like this.
Apparently killing those guys aggroed the enemies. Do not care though. They're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. I don't know if you guys, if anyone here is a fan of Goblin Slayer, but I am a huge fan. Um, I like it every time he says, we're going to kill all the goblins. Yeah, that's my favorite line in the show. Whenever he says, we're going to kill all the goblins. Isn't that, isn't that just like something you want any man to tell you every night before you go to sleep? We're going to kill all the goblins. Isn't that just romantic? Go here and shoot. Oh, your, your range is really short. I haven't gotten around to watching the anime. Hmm. Order his Figma, yeah. I love his armor design, it's so sweet. Well, oh, can you, like, not set me on fire? Thank you. Thank you very much. I think the goal of this mission was to teach us to not trigger all the enemies at once and just like slowly beat them down. I don't want to do that though. I want to kill them all. I want to kill them all quickly. They should all die. Hearing that require uh, relies on shock factor. No, the shock factor is just for the, like the first episode. After that, it's just about killing goblins. The, the shock factor was just like the initial sort of, sort of um, what do they call it? The initial sort of um, push that they had. But after that, it becomes just comfy goblin slaying. Uh, and I like it. I like it quite a lot. If only we had a healer on our team right about now. Let's take this time to reposition. Gosh, you guys can't move. You're so slow. You're so slow. Yeah, let's, let's fight these guys off first. At least I want to. Like Sabrina should be able to run a little bit faster than this. This is way too slow. Wait, what the? Okay. Let's knock one of them out. I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. 
finish off that one too. Oh, well, Goblin's quite tame. Nothing like chainsaws or jujitsu gants. Yeah. I think gants is way more extreme. Stuff like berserk is is much worse than than Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer is just about comfy goblin slaying. That's all it is. I'm not even joking. It's just about goblin slaying. Just about a man who really hates goblins. I feel like I see the goblin slayer design for goblins everywhere now. Especially after me. <laughs> Berserk is comfy. Uh, I, I guess so. I, I guess it is. You know, there was actually something I did want to check with the dialogue or like the visual novel elements. I wanted to see if they made the uh, character portraits look better. Because the talking animations were, they were kind of janky. The clang clang noise is music to my ears. What, you mean like the pipe dropping noise from TikTok? I swear, please. No. Please, no. I can't deal with that noise. I can't find a way to use Sabrina effectively. So I'm benching her. I'm benching her. And we'll bring Cheetah in. I don't know what she's saying. She's like talking in some weird, um, some weird JK lingo. Okay, where are you? There's so many people over here. What the heck? And there's a guy with a shield. <sighs> what the heck am I supposed to do th with this? What? What the heck am I supposed to do? Which girl's frontline girl is most likely to run a GDIK scam? That is a good question. That is a very good question. I, I, Kuro? Nah, Kuro wouldn't, that's too much work. Kuro would not, she's too lazy to like message you every single day. Um, <laughs> To, to build up that parasol parasocialness. She's too busy shit posting on image boards. Um. Then again, she could like run like five billion sock puppet accounts. Um. So maybe she could do that. Though I don't feel like she would. Kuro is actually a very sweet girl. She likes to shit post. She doesn't like to actually like ruin people's lives. Why is there so many enemies? How do I? How am I supposed to slice them? Mm, wait, wait, Sabrina. Why are you here? I thought I benched you. I thought I benched you. What are you doing here? Um. What the.
I don't like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. There's like no cover. There's no cover. What am I supposed to do? Hey. Stetchkin loves money, so she might... No, Stetchkin's also a very sweet girl, though. Um... PX4 would scam people, but... Because she loves money. But I don't think she would do a DDIK scam. She actually likes to work. Across the lollipop. Over there. Doesn't kill them though. but having having a connection partnership to iop really spoils how hard for dollars to come by in a gas roll hmm. i'm sure everyone treat the two to three stars like trash wow i'm sure this responsible doll owner is there out somewhere probably maybe hopefully I'm not sure. Why won't you die? Wait, was that all the enemies? Did we actually like get through all the enemies? That's crazy. No, Sabrina. How could this have happened? I'm waiting for a particular two star to make it in. She has so many costumes she does, plus neural cloud inclusion. Plus neural cloud inclusion, two star. Huh. And it's been so long since I played regular girls frontline. I don't even remember who the two stars are. Okay, they made the the mouth flaps a little bit smoother, but. It's Still not quite to my taste. That's fine. Minor gripe. Ah, uh, IDW. Oh, Type Type sixty four. Yeah, I like Type sixty four. She's cute. Um, she's just a nice one, there, son. And I, I'm always out. I'm always up for nice one, there, sons. I'm kind of waiting for... What was her name? PK? Um, the pistol. What was her name? The the sadomasochistic one. I like her. She's, she's cool in my books. Uh, for some reason, her name just does not... 
I don't remember what her name was. Brain's not working. I have not been getting any good sleep. PPK, that's the one. Yeah, I, I was like, I know her, her name had the letters P and K in there somewhere, but I know PK is like PK machine gun. Uh, and this PKP machine gun, but no, she's PPK. <laughs> Ah, it's confusing. It is. It can be very confusing. Let's see. The thing pushes that stuff over there. So it can blow up the spider, but. Hmm. Let's we'll just do it. Just do it. PPK's odds are pretty good, especially with her character niche. Yeah, I don't think any other character has her um, personality. So she's got a good chance of making it in. How much storage this takes? It takes uh, 19 gigs. I kind of wish it could have been like a pretty 20 gigs, but they made it 19. I hate those frogs so much. I hate those frogs. I hate them so much. God damn. I fucking hate these frogs. Just die, you asshole. Can we shoot this and we'll kill them? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just assume that it will. No, let's not do that. Let's do this. You know the issue with phones these days, they don't allow expansion cards. I mean, phones like the, the smallest amount they come with these days is like 64 gigs, right? What do you need all that space for? Okay, I'd like the gun. She doesn't have a lot of mood speed, but she is powerful. I also hate those frogs. We all hate the frogs. <laughs> French Canadians! Ah, uh, Genshin. I don't know how much space Genshin takes, but I'd assume it eats up a lot of storage. In 40k bolt gun, its frogs are also formidable. Yeah, it seems like frog enemies in every game are just the most annoying creatures. Water. 
hot, just, just hot water. If I drink tea, it'll just make me go to the bathroom too much. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah, this this elite scene is pretty nuts. I wish they could have gone more grotesque with the elids, but you know, sensors. I'll never forget my first encounter with the D-type elid. It just goes crunch and someone dies. In comparison to those things, these these guys are little puppies. They're, they're, they, they don't do a thing. Resort to hot water to help wake up when I feel like I've had too much sugar. Mm -hmm. Hot water, good. I'm not gonna like inundate you with hydration, but drinking hot water is nice. Alien start descent. Mm -hmm. But you know, these days, if anyone's talented enough to do great service for those franchises, they might as well just, you know, make their own stuff. Like what these guys are doing at Mika. I still think that the fusion between plants and animals is kind of ridiculous like how do you have a, a flower and snake kaiju thing it just it's so weird It's not peak Elid, but it's pretty cool, yeah. I hope they give us like even crazier Elids than, than the D-type when Reverse Collapse finally comes out. I want something even scarier. They just took Turner's Punts as an example and just threw in the word mutation. Yeah, I think the... The fusion between plant and animal elids is called bujang. I'm not sure what that word means. It must be a Slavic word. Oh, she's all covered in green goo. Gross. Oh, elid juice. Don't breathe that in. It doesn't even look that big in the game. They made it smaller. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what do we do? Go here. And you go here. That was as close. To yeah, it was. I love I loved the fight scene with with um I was about to say Raiden with uh Krolik there. It was really freaking good. Boyfriend, just shut up, Poke. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> like, I don't even mind the NTR shit. I'm like, eh. I never really cared. 
I'm like, oh, the dolls have lives outside of being my my soldiers. That's fine. I, I literally do not care. You know, no matter how much some some people want to get butthurt about it, uh, I I really just I don't I don't care. Wait, where's the switch? The switch is here. Oh. Uh, kind of fucked up. Yeah, we we kind of fucked up. Okay, I guess we just wait. I was missing was Carolic holding her sword with her feet and flipping around. Right? Holding her feet, holding the sword with her feet, and then like just doing a, a fucking break dance. Knowing it took Metroid Dread and Prime almost two decades to come out, I hope Metal Gear Rising sequel someday. Yeah, maybe. It would be nice. I wonder when the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake is gonna be finished. I know people have a lot of misgivings about Konami, but at the same time, they're probably still gonna buy it. Uh, the, the problem with Konami is not making Metal Gear games, it's making new Metal Gear games. Uh, they can remake the old games as much as they like. Um, and people will buy them. It's, like, making new IP is hard. もしもし。ボブ、ドメみたいですね。混濁 This is so goofy. He shoots at the box. How dare you shoot back at me? Die! It's like my guy. If you shoot someone, you should be prepared to be shot back at. 
People are just so silly when they go into battle with this strange assumption that they can shoot someone and that those people won't shoot back. I don't understand how you can get into that sort of mindset. Because you know proves you might kind of overrate with this death training game. I mean, I have a very good friend who loves Death, Strand Death Stranding. I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't understand why. Um, Death Stranding did not... Um, I did not find it that interesting. Uh, maybe I lack the auteur vision. But, um, I just, I did not find Death Stranding to be that good. <laughs> Oh, right. I remember now. In the closed beta, I think up until chapter in this area, um, we don't get any more story elements. But now that official soft release is out, we'll actually be able to see the new story. That's good. Oh, they didn't introduce us to the... Um, to the Tarkov mode yet. How are you liking GF2 so far? I mean, we've mostly just been covering ground we already did before in the closed beta. Although I really like all the little optimizations they did. I feel like it was it's a vast improvement. They wouldn't be criminals if they were reasonable. <laughs> she wears normal bunny. Yes. Yeah, she... When she's wearing her um, dormitory clothes, she wears actual bunny ears. Oh yeah, I know. We've we've seen this before. We're going to open the box. For some reason, we can open the box. Why is a mystery? Wait. They didn't upgrade. They didn't update his model. Shikigan still has the old face. They didn't. They didn't update it to the, the modern, the new face. This, why? He's supposed to look more like Kruger. Something's off. Yeah, that, that's the old face design. God damn it, Mika. God, God damn it, Mika. This writing is so stupid. It's cute, but it's so stupid. She's dumb and she's a troll. And she's the single mom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Apparently both Prolic and Nemesis can be padded, but you need fiddle with the angle. Why did they make it so hard? Oh no. Her balls. They opened up their holes. Don't show me your holes. <laughs> Hi. 
それからグローザえっとつまりさっき君が言っていた金髪のそうそうゴルフェンの指揮官なんですよ、yes. そうそうゴルフェンの指揮官ですよそれが私ゴルフェンその口調はよしてくれ<笑> right, Let's see. Let no one brag about how advanced humanity is until games release glitch free. <laughs> And if that, I don't know, I'm not sure if that'll ever happen. Appeal to the, uh, <laughs> Blue Archive holds a monopoly on. It's a shame. Blue Archive is so popular in Japan right now, but people have such a, um, Disdain for it because of that reputation here. They just they just don't like it. I think it's a big shame. They should just enjoy it for what it is. I don't think it's that so much to ask, right? Yeah, we're starting to fight against SF Aegis units. Break your stability. It's not enough. I think it's a shame because, like, Blue Archive has a lot to offer, despite its reputation in the West, which I think it's undeserved. It's legitimately a good game. You know, some people just can't be happy. That's a bad idea. I think this blue, this yellow wall is actually destructible, so she'll probably get smashed in the next turn. Okay, stand over here and.、Um, And there's just no good. No good tactic here, is there? Maybe Sabrina was the wrong choice for this mission. Don't like that. We're both taunted. <laughs> Sir, fuck you. <laughs> Let's 
So we'll just snipe him up here. Can't appeal to everyone. No, I think it's. I think it's. Hmm. I think it has to do with perception. That's a problem with the way that the West Western culture perceives things. You know, the West is very prudish. Are you not dead? Ah, I'm getting trolled so hard. We're gonna be okay. Can't let two people fall. Hopefully this guy doesn't have the range. Can't shoot anyone from here. There's one artist who constantly draws Nagant since GF1. He must be ecstatic to finally get the game right. Um, I feel like I know who you're talking about, but there's also another artist who, um, who always draws another character. Who was that? It was Beiju. Beiju only ever draws... Um, crap, what was that pistol girl? The, this Soviet pistol. I forgot her name. But Beiju only draws her. And uh, I think he'll be really happy too when when she gets in the game. There's no way they're not going to put her in. She's too iconic, I feel like. Tokarev, yes, that's the one. It's Tokarev. Can you deal? Can you deal? You cannot. Damn it. Seriously? What about from here? It's not great. Oh, thank God. Wait, nope. What did we mess up? Beat the turn. The beat the mission in six turns. Yeah, that's where we fucked up. Oh well. I'm not replaying this. Everyone moves too darn slow. Actually, maybe we can. Maybe we can deal. Maybe we can deal. Shoot you. 
I think all we really need to do is reach that point. So we just need people to survive. Okay. Victory. Interesting you can go back turns. Yeah, I like this. Um, I like this feature. Being able to rewind. It's in Neural Cloud as well. Yeah, I just don't want to have to redo it in order to get the um get the resources. From like beating all the objectives. Bunny ears are so silly. Let's see if how much we can upgrade our characters now. Probably have a lot of stuff now. That we can do. It's nice to have a feature since you can't pause and save quite like XCOM. Yeah. That's true. Okay, we unlocked another thing. And another thing, I, d I don't know what those are. Uh, oh, I think this is like archive mode or character stories. Enemies are pretty high level. So we should upgrade our units. Unexpectedly, this music right now makes me think nostalgic. Oh, the Valhalla collab. That was such a, that was such a nice little thing. I'm really glad they were able to do that collab. Music you were asking about Tarkov. Mm-hmm. We're running out of EXP tickets. Oh, here we are. The skill tree. We don't have the resources. We need to farm them. Uh, but hey, look, we got a new gun. Um, we're switching from the uh, the ten dollar. A ten dollar Walmart toy to a, an actual airsoft gun. Maybe we'll get a real gun soon. Here we go. Wait, 
Might as well upgrade it. We should do more damage now. We should do a lot more damage now, actually. Kind of derp the low rarity model is just low count. Low poly count. No, 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 it's not low poly count. They just... They straight up just made it look like a plastic gun. And just look at the difference between these. Like, it doesn't have the same sort of metallic luster. It's missing the uh, engravings. The tactical engravings. Even the grips look like it's... Um, the grips don't wrap around where they should wrap. The lanyard loop is not there. Like, it actually just looks like a cheap little toy. As opposed to, um, this, right? You can see the screw, the individual screws, the pins. They actually put a lot, a decent amount of work into it, right? The, the guns are, they're not fully realistic, but they look real. You know what I mean? Like, they're not, it's not real, but it looks real, realistic. <laughs> it looks realistic, but it's not, you can tell it, they didn't go for full realism. It's not quite Tarkov. Like, even the cut of the gun is not right. With the, with the low poly versions or the low rarity versions. Will you see the new Godzilla in Japan? I actually will. Um, a friend of mine has been saying that he wants to go watch it and I'm like, wait, I'm going to be there. And our other friend also says he's going to, he wants to watch it. So uh, actually our other friend, <laughs> it's actually my, my rigor, my, um, uh, my papa, uh, hamster crumbs. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, we'll be able to go watch uh, Godzilla minus one together. We don't really get chances like this to hang out. So, um, I gotta appreciate it while I can. Rusty or banged? They actually had rusty attachments. They actually had rusty low quality attachments. Um, but I don't think we've farmed that area yet. We haven't, we haven't gotten to the Tarkov mode yet for some reason. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is Tarkov mode. We need to be level 21 first. They locked it behind a level. That's interesting. Um, see if we can do any more character banners today. We have just enough to do one. We can do targeted Tololo or we can do weapon banner. What is this? AK Alpha? This is a futuristic AK Alpha with Cerakote. <laughs> with a Cerakoted uh, trigger. So, uh, with a bolt extractor, I think. Charging handle. Some red red parts on the um, on the iron sights comes with a quick detach suppressor and a laser module you know I it's kind of rare for people to put lasers on their sides most people put prefer to put their lasers up above Coating again. It's special coating for aluminum. Powder coat. Ionized coat. Still no guns for now. Mm. It's okay. You don't need to have guns to appreciate them. Like, I only just dabble. This is like the regular banner, I think. I think, I believe at 260 pull. Ah, that's painful. At 260 pulls, you can just choose who you want to get. So that's hard pity. But I think there's soft pity at um, 
80 pulls their soft pity. Yeah, let's do... We don't have these tickets. Fuck. We only have regular. Well, I guess if we can only pull for this, we might as well. Wish me luck, guys. You... I'll tell you are a strange per Wait, I got fucked again, didn't I? Damn it. I'll tell you are a strange person. Guaranteed three star, but it's still random. Yeah. It looks like they decided to give us a lot of swords. Look at all those airsofts now. They're not even the nice air sauce. They're the cheap ones. Got another cheetah dupe. Man, these are just the worst. I guess the game really wants me to use cheetah. Yeah, another one for her neural spine. Didn't even give me a purple weapon. God damn it. Diane betrayed us, yeah. She's off with her boyfriend. Actually, I don't think Diane's banner is even open. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, Dion's banner isn't even here. We didn't get any purple swords. Crime worse than betraying us. Having a boyfriend. <laughs> then it, no, it's fine. Alpaca did not do anything wrong, okay? RPK did nothing wrong. Yeah, what, what is this? Oh man, it's so laggy. Oh. Oh, this is the, uh, battle pass. And what's at the end of this battle pass, hmm? It's, a uh, a pull ticket. I'm fond of eldest siblings being one myself, so I look forward to that banner. Yeah, she's. I think she's going to be here soon. The Diane banner. Maybe I should have saved my resources for that. But these guns actually look pretty cool. I'll admit. These guns all look pretty damn cool. We got our sci-fi looking P7s. Rosa. Nemesis. Um... Some sort of machine gun. I don't know what that is. And. I don't know this shotgun. I'm going to assume this is the shotgun that. um, Not Shark Free. That. that um, man, I'm forgetting the names of the characters. <laughs> the girl who carries out around the, the dinosaur plushie. I'm assuming this is her shotgun. And of course, we've got futuristic sci fi curve. <laughs> Because, of course, um, Taurus is making good business in the year 2073. 
that play, yeah, that play. It's just brain completely empty right now. Okay, apparently this is an, a story about SVD. I guess we're not getting SVD in this game then. Poor girl. Uh, do two, stage 210 to receive the sniper rifle. Alright, let's do that. Cyber Greeble has its charm. Yeah, I actually, I really like it. I kind of wish that Girls Frontline 2 went full sci-fi. I, I, I actually do want to see them shooting lasers. Because that's the tech that they have in Reverse Collapse. They have those things called um, pulsers that add like energy, like laser energy or something to their physical bullets. And I just think it looks really cool. But people like freaked out about it during the first Girls Frontline 2 trailer. Like for me, who is a fan of of Bakery Girl, I was like, yeah, pulsers, that's cool. But then uh, people are like, wait, that looks unrealistic. It looks goofy because they don't know. They, they just they just don't know. Hey. Let's see. We might benefit from having our swordsman here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We actually know we need you over there. Let's go. It would take away GFL identity. Mm hmm. But chicken gun is broke. Laser weapon's too expensive. You can only afford a bunch of airsofts. <laughs> a little, a bunch of BB guns. But players progressed it to Hang Yang went from normal to mod three. Hmm, that's true. I mean, the the, the lasers in <laughs> Hang Yang mod three are kind of crazy. Giant robots? What? <laughs> Am I even playing the same game? What is this? Oh, she can almost one-shot them. <laughs> I'd like Hanya got a lot of love for a three-star. That's because she's a... She's a mascot. She's... Hanyang is actually a collab character. She's a mas mascot for a... Uh, for an anime convention. That's why she gets so much love. What is love, baby, to hurt me? Fox. Oh, Okay, blowing up those boxes does not really do anything. It does not. Rather just shoot them in the face. Could be better. Oh yeah, we want to kill the people at the top first. The bats at the top because they can ignore our cover. Just give them all water pistols and damp models. 
Make it Senran Kagura Peach Peach Slash. Is that an actual thing? Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Okay? I guess. Is, is, it, is that series still... Is Senran Kagura still going? I haven't heard much about it lately. I remember someone mentioned that they kind of got neutered. So it's like not what people like anymore. It's a legit game. Oh jeez. It's a legit game, damn. Seeing as cover doesn't even matter to these frogs. Let's just murder them. <laughs> Thanks to Sony being... <laughs> yeah. I think the lead designer left or something. How the industry doesn't welcome his game, if I recalled. Oh yeah, that sucks. I, I give you sexy woman with big boobs and you don't like it fine i'm leaving <laughs> i'll start my own company with blackjack and 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 female ninjas so i think with these Frogs is, I think all of their attacks are AoE. I think all of their attacks are AoE. Get rid of that one. Recent news is San Otago that they've been doing a collab with Dolphin Wave. I don't know what Dolphin Wave is. What is Dolphin Wave? A collab recently ended with Azer Lane. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think I saw a collab, um, a cosplayer get officially hired um, to do a Senran Kagura cosplay. It's funny, is the biggest Senran Kagura fan I know is a straight woman. <laughs> That's how it happens, isn't it? That's always how it happens. It always shakes up to being something like that, right? Dolphin Wage is a gacha game. Mm. Naruhodo. Yeah, you know, this Azur Lane, the CEO of, um, what was that game? What was the, of, um, crap. What was the, what was the studio that makes Azur Lane? Um, the CEO is a woman. I'm pretty sure she's straight. Um, <laughs> not to like just assume people's sexual preferences, but I'm pretty sure she's straight. Um, what other ones was there? There's, there must have been like a ton. Let's see. We want you guys. Let's switch it out with Carolic. <gasps> And what was it? Nikkei? I'm pretty sure like a lot of like <laughs> Obake Pam, right? She loves Nikkei. Um, all these these very pervy games. Yeah. They are just they're it's, it's it seems strange at first, but somehow that's always how it shakes up. All right, can we else? Oh, I mean, actually, Sabrina could be really useful here, actually. Let's do this. Let's do this. Wait. Go, go back. Nikkei apparently has... Nikkei has good character writing. They know how to... The, the characters are very expressive, you know? 
A game like Girls Frontline is not quite the same thing. Girls Frontline is more about... is more focused around the, um... the plot. It's more focused around how the world affects the characters, whereas... In something like Nikkei, it's about how the characters affect the world. It's a very different formula, but I think it's very... I'm, gonna, I'm choking on my, my... I'm choking on my words saying this. Valid. I don't know why. The word valid just leaves a strange taste in my mouth. I'm not too fond of it. Alright. Gonna go ahead and bomb these guys. And then you're gonna slash them all. I think you need to focus on the character to get people to like them, yeah. Like, Girls Frontline is not that character heavy. It's more based on, you know, the world. Which, you know, it's it's a different kind of storytelling. Which is what I really like. I like stuff that has a lot of world building. Nikkei is more focused around the characters and the world itself. Um, you know, it focuses on their personal struggles and tragedies. And of course, their relationships with other, without the, with each other. Like, what I notice that Pam really enjoys is the character dynamics between the various characters. I mean, like, sure, they're all horny for the player, but they also like bicker amongst themselves all the time. Um, it's not something as simple and shallow as, like, say, Kantai Collection, where like one character will mention their sister or something in their, in their. Um, you know, in their quick interaction dialogue. But like in the actual story of the game, they'll spend a lot of time together, like fighting each other and arguing over stupid things, but those stupid things build a character. Um, so, so in conclusion, uh, Nikki is pretty damn well written. It's not exactly the way that I enjoy character writing, but it is the way that I think is just really good. I, I think it's really good. I hope I'm not making this too sound too complicated. I'm saying it's good stuff. Oh no, it's a frog. I hate these things. Boom. Frog no more. Hello, Fexnix. I should focus on waifus because characters are a soul of a game. That is true. That is absolutely true. I mean, I like how NeuroCloud does it, right? NeuroCloud's character events are really nice. Um, and it, it goes closer to the style of writing that Nikkei does. But uh, Nikkei definitely beats it out, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think Nikkei definitely beats out NeuroCloud. NeuroCloud, like, is specifically trying to tell stories about, you know, professions. So they spend a lot of time doing that sort of stuff. But Nikkei focuses pretty much almost exclusively on the characters, which is fine. They, they definitely do it better than... NeuroCloud, although I enjoy NeuroCloud a lot. I learned quite a lot about how, what is it, the psychology of working in certain professions. Like, especially the Yelena's event, where they talk about, you know, 
the psychological need of society for things like as goofy as um, a fortune teller. It's like, okay, the like they're they're coming to you as a fortune teller. People are coming to you as a fortune teller for advice, but it's not like they don't already know what they want to do. Right? Someone will maybe ask about advice for their business. You know, instead of going to a business consultant, they came to you. It's not because they don't know what they need to do, how they need to change their business in order to survive. It's just that they're feeling, they're not feeling confident about the decision. And so they want someone to push them in a certain direction, which I find is like, damn, that's, you know, the, it's saying something about, our, about the human condition, right? I, I think something like that was just, um, it's pretty insightful. It's not something that people usually think about. Like, why do people go to fortune tellers, right? As if the general fan base play Nikki for the story. Um, you know, it's got a bit of both, right? You've got the people who like the story, who really play for the story. And then you've got the people who play for the boobs. <laughs> and the ass. You know, you can, you can enjoy both, you know? You can enjoy both. There's nothing in wrong, there's nothing wrong with enjoying both. I like both. Apparently we've run out of stamina. I didn't know that could happen. Like, I, I legitimately did not realize that was something that could happen in this game. Um, how do I resolve that? How do I deal with this? How do I, how do I deal? Um, we are, we are legitimately out of stamina. I have not been pay paying attention. To How? How? Wait, we can't even receive any more of this stuff? Stamina system. Yeah, there's a stamina system. It's just how it is. Um, yeah, here. Uh, we will not use those. We'll use these. I'm not sure what either of these are, but I'm just going to... Okay, um... If someone can read Chinese, w w what are these two items? Are these like stamina keys or, or are these stamina keys? Um, I'm going to assume this is a stamina key. Because it says the word key here. And that this is like an actual useful uh, resource that I don't want to spend. Left is the stamina key. Thank you, Armored Neko. Love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you. Thank you. What would I do without you? All right. Continuing on. Right is your currency. Yeah, we do not want to waste our currency. Are the girls in this game robots too? Yes. The girls in this game are robots too. Like, not all the characters are robots, but... Um, the characters you play as are robots. <gasps> Frankly, I want to play as a Stasi agent. I want to play as Agent J and Agent uh, K. They're pretty damn cool. Uh, I, I believe Agent J is the one that will, like, that, uh, the lady killer. Every woman he in interacts with falls in love with him. <laughs> Keep your girls away from him. Uh, he's too much of a pretty boy. Let's see, we've got all this and we've got this. What is the objective of this mission? Kill everybody. <sighs> Understandable. Oh, there's, there's eggs. Gross. Lots of eggs. Very disgusting. Let's use you. Uh -huh. 
And we also need what the hell? Probably can't shoot that box from this side. I have to wait for someone to shoot from this side. Alright, we'll do this. Hmm. This design looks like it came straight out of StarCraft. Let's see. Can you shoot that? Yes, you can. But do you want to shoot that? No, you don't. You know, you look scary, so I'm going to kill you first. Oh, I didn't notice the frog. Maybe I should have aimed for the frog first. Oh, too late for that. Too late to regret that. You know, that frog is going to shoot us. They're going to hit all three of us at once. That's bad. But it can't be helped. God, she's so cheeky. I do not like that squishing sound. I do not like that squish squish sound. It is hideous. Like I actually winced. that sound oh hey we can actually use the lollipop let's go ahead and do that then that, that was very underwhelming In the lore, they are robots, but uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. They're they're functionally people. Even though they're robots, they're... She's real to me, okay? She's real to me. I remember someone asked, are the girls in the game Nikkei? Are the girls in this game Nikkei? Oh. I mean, I guess uh, M4A1 kind of counts. She's kind of like a Nike, right? As I understand it, Nike are like robot bodies with implanted with human brains. If I understand it correctly, that's how it is. Kind of messed up, but then again, I play Girls Frontline, which is also pretty bad. <laughs> Real to me brings back Blade Runner. <laughs> it, it freaks me out that um, in Yelena's story, she had to go through the um, state your baseline test. That, like, it was pretty much the exact same thing as in Blade Runner. Right. People like Mika like their sci-fi. Like, whatever they're, they're watching or whatever they're enjoying, they'll, they'll put it into the game. A robot is fine too. A robot is more than fine. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she likes me. Oh, my adopted daughter likes me. 
We gotta get her a haircut though. Those wings are hideous. She's looking like Solentatsky over here. Memes, Hakia, the DNA of the soul. Yeah, T dolls are AI. They're completely robots. But like this, the whole thing about girls' frontline is that um, technology is corrupting people so much to the point the the apocalypse, you know, greed and technology have corrupted people to the point that they've become less humane than the robots they created to serve them. And like the robots end up being the most humane. And this is um, shown by the, all the Naito characters who are like completely dead inside. Like they pretty much lobotomized women um, turned into like robot slaves. I guess in that in a way that they're kind of like Nikkei, except they they didn't get their brain brains transplanted. Instead, they just had their bodies completely, you know, fucked up. <laughs> Quadruped, quad quad amputee, <laughs> and brainwashing computer chips in their brains. Uh, it is not, it is not lovely. Like, Paradius is just like the end. Just It, it just shows... The conflict between Paradius and and, and uh, your T-Dolls is pretty much like the, one of the main th themes, right? Like, because Paradius units are pretty much all just modified and brainwashed humans. Humans <laughs> are also type of biological AI. <laughs> Dog, don't be... Breaking that out of the box, I don't think we're ready to have that conversation. <laughs> the, the existential horror that comes from that, opening that box. Yeah, the fate of a T-Doll isn't so bad. Even if they die, they're backed up on the neural cloud. But dolls like AR Squad is special. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we do here? We can't use water. I mean, these guys are weak to water, but we need this flame. If we use water on this, it'll put up the, it'll put out these, uh, this lava flow. So, Sabrina is a no-go. I remember this map being really annoying. So, we're actually going to bring a healer. MP7 will not cut it. We're going to bring an actual healer. Um, we're not going to use the bunny. This is a bad map for her. What the fuck is she queen? She's using JK speak. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. The young people today. I don't understand them. They they scare me sometimes. Come back like it's nothing. I find it quite nice in NeuroCloud where they like... Because in Girls Frontline 1, they always talk about how if they die, then they lose their memories and... And, you know, memories are very important to T-Dolls, or dolls in general. But you don't really... It doesn't really seem... It seems very like something very small in the grand scheme of things. But then in NeuroCloud, you understand it as... They just get... Re they basically get factory reset. So, you know, if you've built up all these, like, relationships and memories with this person, and then they die, and then they... Yeah, they're back. Physically, they're back. But, like, they've forgotten everything about you. Their whole personality has been reset. You know? Um, the way that they think and behave has changed. Back to becoming, like, a hollow shell. You know, because, you know, dolls, they develop their personalities through their experiences. Kind of like a person. 
Uh, and I find I found that the way that they told the story like that to be more. I guess it just showed showed how there are actually consequences for them. It, because basically, effectively, if they if they get reset, the person who comes back is a different person. MP7 would make a good Zidaike. Nah, she's too much of a gather. She's way too much of a gather. Let's 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 do actually maybe she could be a GIK though. I know she's a little bit too bright. She's a little bit too much of a Yolkia. Uh, we need someone to flip the switch. It's gonna be Groza. Can we move you? No, we can't. Well, hope you don't die then. Or, or rather, please don't die. Look, <laughs> enemies are gonna pop up here sooner rather than later. Baka. The memory depends on when they last saved, yeah. Like, Neurocloud ups the stakes in that, like... No, they just straight up. Because Neurocloud takes place in the backup server, right? And the, the players, the characters are... The characters that you play as in, in Neurocloud, they are the backups. So there's, there's no backup for the backup. Um, what is important is keeping the server intact, yeah. Story of yeah, Kruger and Hellion fought hard to protect when Griffin was invaded, yeah. Let's, let's go. Yeah, let's just, let's not fight these guys, let's just watch them slowly burn to death. I think that'll be fine. You guys are still being taunted? Jeez. I can't believe you're still being taunted. Let's kill him already. It's all. There's a range for your heal. It is too far. With this, you should be untaunted. Yes, you are. Why would. Why won't you just die already? Right. And you can go over here. Start shooting the big boy. Oh no, one of them made it out. One of them made it through the pit. That's no good. That is no good. And he is tanky. Use the ult. If he if this guy hits anyone, they they die. So we should just go ahead and blast him. Can't use water. It's gonna put out the flames. The barricade is protecting him from damage. I 
I do like how everyone's like supporting each other in shooting this guy. That's very nice. Uh, let's do this. Oh no, he shielded. Damn you. Guess the other me died in the mission. They don't have a memory of it. I'm <laughs> just gonna report. Being killed while using deadly kill kill weapons. Um Let's see. Seeing Groza died multiple times in the cutscene so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this game, we have a backup server inside the Elmo. The only problem is that we're broke and we have we don't have a lot of spare bodies. I guess that's also it's also a way to explain why we don't have um why our T dolls don't have five you know, they don't have clone bodies anymore. Unlike in Girls Frontline One. And actually I think I think they pretty much abandoned it in Girls Frontline One anyway. You rarely see it in cutscenes. Actually I don't think I've ever seen it in a cutscene. Where they use those anymore. Trudy finally came back in yet, and the gotten artist got to her four hours ago. Oh, nice. I, I gotta go check it out. Please post it on the Discord if you can. This guy restored his stability. Fuck off. Really? You asshole. How dare you? How dare you? I went through all that trouble, dude. To, to destroy your stability. What an asshole. I believe if I make an action, this guy will shoot. But I do not care. Just die already. Ah, wonderful, he's dead. Uh, let's say poke clone doesn't mean it's the origin, like two stone each other, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have IOP, but we do have a backup server. Angela missed having backups of $15 in one helicopter, which five different dolls of their dummies. Right, right, right. All right, we can't move. They won't let us move. Get out of my way. Why is this why is this AOE debuff still here? That guy's dead. Why? It was you? It was you! Alright, um, I think we're good. Just need to keep up this barricade and the enemies will not make it to our defense point. having a healer very nice having a healer and we should yes we can anything new uh, just continuing to go through the stages i'm gonna try to get to the story but i don't think we'll be able to 
get to where the story left off. My lights just went out. That's wonderful. How do you shove them all in the helicopter? D don't think about it. I mean, when it comes to shoving things in helicopters, I, I remember like something about like the war in Georgia. The war in Georgia, where apparently there was like a hundred people stuffed inside a single helicopter, and it got shot down by one one Georgian. It got shot down by a single Georgian and all 100 people fucking just died. Okay, I'm sure we can... We can if, if the Russians can stuff 100 people into a single helicopter, I think we can do a little bit better with dolls. I'm sure where the Discord link is, but it's... it's Twitter is... Dusk Frontier. I mean, I can post my Discord right here, right now, if you would like to join. Uh, I don't usually have it open. It's pretty much on a... whenever I feel like opening it up. What a horrid accident! Oh. Yeah, what a horrid incident. Yeah, if you would like to join my Discord, it's right there. Um, why can we not... Uh, okay, I can read this. Shikikan? Must be level 17. They're gatekeeping me. They're gatekeeping me. How dare they? They don't want me to, to... 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 Um... They don't want me to progress. This is... How awful. I'm moving too fast. I'm just moving too fast. We still haven't got Tarkov mode yet. That's interesting. Still no Tarkov mode. Because I haven't done any of the uh, bonus levels. We can do that real quick though. Super quick in fact. Bro must be on his grind. I am on my grind. I love Girls Frontline so much. Let's see, we got... Let's break out the nemesis. The nemesis. <laughs> Alright, we can, we can do this. This would be fine. Get that, yes we can. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I was panicking there for a second. Um Oh my lights are back on. Funny how that works out. Okay, we want you to blow up these blocks first. You'll move forward. And can we do... No. Gotta do this. So, I have smart Phillips lights. And the thing about these is that they have... They change colors. So whenever they lose power... Oh, damn, those frogs! Whenever they lose power... Um... You know they shut off, of course, and when they re when the power comes back on, they they turn back on, which kind of sucks because sometimes it does this in the middle of the night and I get woke woken up. Um, 
but when they turn back on, they uh, change to a different color than what I last set it to, which is really, really annoying. Let me fix that real quick. Let me fix that real quick. I, I, this is so stupid. They don't even follow my... Okay, there we go. They reconnected. Yeah. All right. Grind frontline. I'm grinding. All right, let's go. What are we... Oh, no. Babushka. She's dead. It's fine. We got a backup for her. We have a backup, Babushka. Gotta get rid of those frogs. Out of range. In a future, AI lights make their own choices. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is that where we're headed? Is that the future we chose? Characters that assault and support and other stuff available. Yes, it is. Certain characters will do reaction fire like like ja like what uh, Groza just did just now. Um, when her ally, when Cheetah got attacked, Groza automatically fired back. I don't know which classes do what exactly. Um, certain classes will actually help you attack. So like if you're shooting one person... In this case, a cheetah will help you attack, but certain characters, certain classes, they deal more damage. Um, their their basic attack does more damage to stability, and some of them do, do more to damage, like actual HP damage. I don't know which one is which at the moment. I don't know which class does reaction fire. I don't even, I'm not even sure what exactly are like the um, the triggers to make it happen. And there's certain characters who have very specific triggers for their reaction fires, um, which I also don't know. <laughs> I just, I just don't know. See, like that. I mean, with Cheetah, her ult gives her reaction fire or support fire. That I do know, but a lot of it is a mystery to me. If you don't read the fine print image, yeah, if you don't read the fine print, it is very confusing. I swear to God. I always feel like I'm doing an upskirt when I when I select Kida. It's not even a skirt, it's just like a really short jacket. Or not a short jacket, it's a long jacket that puffs out like a skirt. And they have, they must have done that on purpose. The game designers. There's no way they didn't. Games like making me slow down to to play all the bonus levels. Just let me play the games. Just let me get through the story. I swear. Don't gatekeep me. I don't like gatekeeping. I do not appreciate gatekeeping. Let's um, change out Cheetah. Change out Cheetah and... Ooh, do we want to use their sword? No, we don't. Bunny is a bad play here. The bunny is a bad play here. Oh, I think they're trying to teach us about shield enemies in this map.
What about you? You? Okay, you can do that instead. Yeah, it's too slow. <laughs> Speed it up. I've got all night. In fact, I think I should end. Um, I don't give it 30 more minutes max. I don't want to go past midnight. Um, maybe we'll play this game again on Friday. I really wanted to do Undying Story, but I can probably fit it in somewhere else. I do know, like, um, Babushka, her voice actor is a big fan of this game. And, you know, I hope they just give her lots of content to do. She, what the? That is bullshit. What was that? They all dropped like flies. How did that even happen? Who did it? Who did that? Was it you? How did they all get? How did they all just? Oh my god. Where did that magma come from? Cover got blown up. Is that what happens when the cover gets blown up? It just turns to magma. That is so messed up. That is so messed up. I heard Babushka so I was sat in front of the GF2 Escort. Hello there, Maladis. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. How are you doing? Um Yeah, oh, I got Babushka. She's that she's one of my favorite characters. I'm glad they included her, and I hope they... M I'm not sure how strong she is, but I hope they made her really overpowered. Considering how much of a fan her, um, of the game her voice actress is. And I, I just hope she gets lots of love. She deserves it. Like, I have no idea what she does. I just know sometimes she can do some pretty heavy damage. That Grenader... That Grenadier drops Molotovs, I guess. What an asshole. What an asshole. We gotta get rid of him. It's this guy. With the red backpack. We've gotta get rid of him. Can't get rid of him. Damn it. He's in too much cover. My gun's all the way back here. Can't really help. Maybe she can get rid of this dude. Cannot. The range is too short. They have a bomb so powerful the cover becomes lava. Vector would be very proud. Aroused? Well, Vector will not be showing up. Um, you know. Vector's voice actress got into some controversy in China a while ago, and so ever since then, Vector's just been an, a no go. I think they. Re I'm not sure if they recasted her, but like. The character is pretty much. does not have the same amount of love she used to. 
very which is it's 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 a shame it's a huge shame thing is her model already exists oh was she huh I didn't realize All right. see I don't even know how that reaction shot works two people shot back at him and I, I don't even know how I don't even know what the qual qualifier for that was So yo itaku night. But for some reason I just have infinite I have infinite gauge with um Nagant. I don't know what increases her gauge, but she just always has her collapse gauge. So I can just keep on spamming her ult. I, I don't know what I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. I'm But you know, this is how I grew up playing video games, you know? I grew up playing games in a foreign language and I never really questioned what I was doing. I just played the game until I could suss out what did what which is really hard because i played a lot of jrpgs back then <laughs> playing jrpgs without understanding any of the text was uh i mean you had to have a lot of time on your hands <laughs> fun fact grenadiers were the strong giga chad soldiers of the 18th century Here's the shock inventory. Of course, use grenades on fortifications. I wonder what. I wonder what 18th century grenades even looks like. It's probably not like. You know, the World War II style grenades we're all thinking of. Do we, do we have enough. How do we increase our EXP? How do we increase our EXP? Ah. Did we uh play too much today? What is this? Do one of these and do one of these. I I don't know what these are. Every day do some Is this even EXP? This is EXP. This is EXP, yeah. It's EXP from Brief. Um, these are not EXP. These are resources. Wait, are they actually gatekeeping me from playing any further? That that makes me angry. What is this? What is this? Everyday event. Everyday daily. Um, do something once. And this is also do something once. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. What, what is this? Let's see. Babushka triggers on enemies ending his turn in her range. And support attacks trigger on enemy turns. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Bombs from Tom and Jerry. Excuses. Ha you can't throw those, though. You can't throw those. Those things are heavy. Basically a ball with a rope you light on fire. <laughs> Maybe playing too much or rushing too fast. But I want I want to get to chapter six. I wanna to get to chapter six! And I gotta fly to Japan next week. I don't have a lot of time. They even have flintlock grenade launchers. How did you even get to chapter 4? I'm stuck on chapter 3. How? 
How? I, I need EXP. Do I have to do these? No, these are just... These are just materials. Not the XP. So how do I get the, how do I get the XP? I don't know how. I'm freaking out over here. Man, I just I just want to play the game. Why would they do this to me? can't throw these things very far that's why grenadiers often have heavy armor all right see you around strongest soldier do some resource dailies oh we can do that um the resource ones are did you ever put in codes what codes there's codes i i don't know if there's codes I mean, I've done this one. Oh. Of course. Gosh, I feel so dumb. Of course. GF2 Exilium and G 1, 2, 2, 1, GF2. Huh. I'll, I'll try it out when I finish this resource mission. Okay. Oh yeah, this map we've got. I I find it so funny that that Krolik is weak to um weak to acid. Like uh, she's exactly weak to Nemesis's um, element. Right, so we should have Sabrina on this side. And we'll have Nagant on this side as well. And over here we'll have Rosa and Nemesis. Okay, let's start this with a bang. Over the... I don't think I was actually supposed to kill that black bean. I think I was still just supposed to break its stability. Um, whoopsies. It's not that big of a deal though. I'm sure this is fine. We're kind of just power creeping them, huh? You're gonna pay for that. How much damage can we do? Not enough. And Sabrina's just getting the entire map wet. Uh, I don't know what the water does. Would, it, would anyone please tell me like what the water stage effect does? Like, clearly it affects the enemy somehow, but I just, I'm not sure what exactly it does.
I am so glad for the 2x speed. Alright, alright. Let's try out that code. Question is, where do I put it in? Uh, that's language. Video settings. Um, keybinds. The store. No, it's not here either. Wait, this? This was it? Oh. I thought this was like the profile. Alright, um, let's type it in. GF2 Exilium Ib What? <laughs> GF2 Exilium? Uh-huh. Why did I get an error message? 1221 GF2. Alright. Why did it give me the dirt sound? Okay, we get some resources. And some more upgrade resources. I'll take it. So I'm going to assume that the blue cubes... The blue cubes are like... Um, are like dust in in neural cloud I'm just gonna assume that's what they're like <laughs> this is not it how much exp do we need Always take out the frogs first. Those accursed creatures. I think I'm starting to get a hang of this. Um, I still, I'm still not very good with positioning, but I'm starting to get a hang of how this works in comparison to the, the closed beta. The closed beta was very straightforward. It was too easy. <laughs> it was, it was too easy. There wasn't a lot of thinking involved. I need some amount of thinking, or else I. I just go to sleep.
Did they change the rate? Hello there, Monocide. Uh, the rate for what? I'm not sure what you're re referring to. Wait, what, huh? Did he just drop acid on the on the bear? Oh, oh, it, it turned the bear into a bomb. Gotcha rates? Um, I think they did change it a little bit here and there, but I'm... I don't know about the specifics. I do know that they made the rates a bit better than the last closed beta. That I do know for sure. I They might have lowered the limit for soft pity. Or maybe they... I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure if they had soft pity in the last closed beta. Do we have enough EXP? Do we have enough EXP yet? Please. I just want to level up. Actually, do, where do we even go to check our EXP levels? I guess it's here? It doesn't say. It does not say what our exp rate is game you're, you're sending me so many mixed signals right now i mean this is this is the battle pass exp not not the character EXP. Is this it? Please let it be it. Please let this be the EXP that we need. Oh, there, there it is. Here's our EXP bar. We are... We need more. <laughs> we desperately need more. And how did you guys zoom past this? Seems like we need those umbrella pieces. I guess those are... Those aren't umbrellas, those are peace pins, aren't they? Yeah, they are. My sir, there's... Oh, at least there's no Molotov. Molotov Grenadiers in this map. Those guys are really annoying. I don't want to group them all up because I feel like we'll just get bombed like last time. Just, just all die. <laughs> Finish you off.
Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot those guys existed. Those the electricity guys. Uh what is this? Can't move, can still shoot. Can only shoot this one. Uh, this guy. Or is it this guy? Who's the one that's 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 pinning me in place? Who's the one that's pinning Groza in place? I don't like you. Please die. Okay, there we go. Grows is free. Um, hmm. Uh, let's not do that. Let's just go over here. Whittle this guy down. Actually, I have not really used this ability much at all. I think it restores stability. Um, but I've not really needed to use it either. Perfect. They're all in that little spot for me. It's exactly what I wanted. Like, it's like, yeah, you can stun me, but you are dead anyway. Okay, yeah. I, I really like Nagat. She's been doing so much work for me. I really like her. It looks like my guys can move again. Very nice. Oh, her. I don't think they have an oath system in this game yet. They recently added the oath system in... Uh, Neuroclot, but I haven't even used it. <laughs> Though obviously, like, my first choice would be uh, Kuro. Which, by the way, where the hell is Kuro? Why isn't she in this game yet? Where is she? <laughs> There's no way that she's not in Girls Frontline 2. I just want to say, like, I really like... I don't really know any characters. I've never seen any characters wear this type of clothing. Like, she's basically wearing... She's wearing, um, overalls. Right? But the overalls, like, instead of splitting into pants, they turn into... Sleeve skirts. <laughs> How would you describe this? It's like a skirt, but they, they turn it into pants. But it's so it's still like flowy. Um, it's so incredibly flowy. I really like that. Somehow it fits so well with her little cowboy aesthetic up top. She's got this weird sort of like Russian cowboy aesthetic. Um, a Russian gunslinger cowboy aesthetic. But like <laughs> the overalls are kind of goofy. <laughs> I like it a lot though and like you know she's got this wonderful little teddy bear <laughs> this this wonderful little um teddy bear here uh beautifully animated let's see that shake one more time
does not like it when I pat her head. A commissar and a guy can shoot me for desertion any day. <laughs> Why would she do that? You'd never desert, would you? I do miss her earlier designs in GF2. So I hope designs may bring it back. Wait, did they change it somehow? I thought this was just how her design was. Oh, I just noticed. <gasps> she's got... I, I realized... So, wait, she's got different pistols. She's got two different pistols. Oh, I guess this one is the one that she breaks out for her ult. I thought it looked different. Actually, I'm not even sure that the holstered pistol is a Nagant revolver. I think it's some other revolver. It looks completely different from what she's holding in her hand. Uh, if, if there's a gun expert in my chat right now, what exactly is she using? It, it's some weird freaking revolver where you can just punch out the cylinder. Uh, I've got no idea. She used to have a different hat. I mean, yeah, in Girls Frontline 1, she had a different hat. Um, but this is the one that she has in Girl, Girls Frontline 2. Unless they had a different one in earlier tests. Or a custom revolver. Like, like she just like designed it at a whole new... It's just a fantasy revolver? I mean, I'm fine with that. It looks cool. I'm fine with that. It looks cool. I just... I didn't realize that they would uh, just make up a gun. Some sort of backup tar. <gasps> why are they bringing so many Taras guns? Why are they why are they breaking the Taras guns in into this this game? <laughs> Don't tell me it's like a it's a Taras um judge <laughs> with like the what is it? The 12 gauge shotgun shells. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is, but that would be pretty funny. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of the enemies in this uh, chapter are weak against water, huh? Like, I know it's not water. It's it's something stupid like turpentine, which I don't. I didn't even know what turpentine was. The only reason I I know that term is because I played Fallout. <laughs> All right. Um, so lots of rain on one side and moon on the other side. Oh, but here. Butsy, butsy, butsy. And do I want her? No. Yes. No. You know, we haven't been using the bunny lately, so let's bring her out. Damn, she's angry. Isn't Taros not bad with the revolvers? I don't know. Would you like to shoot twelve a 12-gauge 12 shell, a 12-gauge shotgun shell with one wrist? That seems kind of scary. I think generally with stuff like Taurus, is, it, the issue is fit and finish, right? If things are not, if the tolerances are not good enough, um, you get issues, especially with semi-autos. But just because your gun is not semi-auto does not make it any less bad. It just, it's just less apparent because they're 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 not as complex. Unless someone wants, unless someone wants to refute me, you're free to do so if you wish. I have the high ground now. I can't use my ability in high ground. Oops. That. That doesn't work. Crap! It doesn't work. Right, this is not CBT one. If if this was CBT, this would be a viable tactic. But it's not.
We'll just slowly whittle them down. I forgot turpentine was a word. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. And that's exactly what I'm saying. I forgot tur turpentine was a word too. how to log in with this game uh china phone number yeah <laughs> shin yao call me uh yao kum yeah shin yao call me uh welcome welcome good evening hope you've been having a wonderful day but yeah uh you can log in with this game with your chinese phone number or if you have an email but you need to um if you don't already have a like I, i'm logging in this is the billy billy account so or the Billy Billy client, and so I have a Billy Billy account that has been um, cross-referenced with my real ID. In order, to, it's been verified with my real ID, um, and that's what you need if you don't already have one. Um, there's a way to do it, and you can find it on the GFL Discord, uh, but it's it's kind of convoluted. It and you have to wait for someone to process it. Become hacker man and steal some Chinese person's ID. Yeah, you, you go ahead and do that. Apparently there was a big leak a while ago. Um, where there's just a tons and tons of IDs. That were just... Uh, you know, released out there and no one's really claimed them. So you could still do that. Um, I'm not sh sure if it would be a moral thing to do, but you can definitely do it if that's what you want let's see let's see let's see how do we shake this get rid of the bear Get rid of these guys. This is mm, risky. How much HP do you have? 19. You will not burn to death. You will not burn to death. How much? How far can you move? You can move there. Do this. I'll just do this. Kill you. So Shikikan operating in the red zone. We are currently inside the yellow zone. Uh, not quite the red zone. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, no, we are currently inside the yellow zone. The red zone would be much more horrific than this. This is still fairly, like, doable. How long are you going to burn? He wasn't, he wasn't even burning. Um, okay, we need you to get rid of these guys. We don't. You don't have a grenade. Why don't you have a grenade? Yeah, we're just getting overwhelmed by all these enemies. We are. We are actually getting overwhelmed.
Okay. Oh wait, I just realized. This is a defense mission. Oh. I'm so dumb. I mean, like, I was like, well, why is that bear running away from me? Uh, uh, I'm so stupid. Uh, I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Real EP hours, incredibly. I'm not, I'm not thinking straight. Um, I was, oh, this is so embarrassing. I pushed too far ahead. And if I knew I was going to play this long, I probably should have started stream earlier. God damn it, Crawl. Like, why do you have to die all the time? Uh, she's surprisingly really squishy for a frontliner. Oh, she can't shoot her. Maybe Kofing was a bad choice for this mission. Hmm. It seems no one really wants to do supporting fire at all. I just realized something. We were supposed to use these platforms. I'm I'm dumb. I am I'm stupid. Yeah, we were supposed to do something like this. To negate their Stability, um, defenses. Yeah. I am so dumb. Yeah, I picked the, the wrong characters for this mission. What do you mean? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go here, do this. Drop a bomb on all of them. And I appreciate that no one here is um <laughs> backseating and telling me what a horrible failure I am. All right, and we're, we're back on track, baby. We got this. It's all in the bag. Live and learn. Uh, when I when I hear those, when I read those words, all I can think of is 
the Sonic song. Live and learn. Live and learn. All right. Um, go ahead and toss another grenade. Finish them off. Did we, did we miss something? Did we miss an objective here? We did. Uh, I don't think we're allowed to let anyone die. That was the objective. Um, whoopsies. Okay, we've got two of these oh, peace signs. That should increase our EXP. This is EXP, isn't it? No, it's not. W what is this then? If this isn't EXP, what is this? It's a... What is it? A Bitcoin? A gold bar? Something something gold. What have I... Oh. This whole time I thought I was farming EXP. I am so dumb. This this bird has no brain. Go oh, man. Smong. Wait, wait. We can do auto. I just realized we don't have to manually play this. We don't have to manually play this. I can just auto it. Oh, I'm so <sighs> I'm so stupid! This button is auto mode! I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm, I'm so dumb. Spending... St it's fine. Okay, can we can we proceed? M game, may we proceed with chapter three? We can. Fabulous. <gasps> I feel so stupid. It was right there. Oh, it's the pretty man from the military. These two have good banter. Yeah, Shikikan and him have very good banter. Yeah, we've been good friends for 10 years. <laughs> no, hopefully Neuroclad are instant auto battle, right? I guess they just couldn't figure out a way to make auto battles for turn-based combat. Yeah, I'm I'm no longer a second lieutenant. I am now like a first lieutenant. How fucking dare you? This guy is in charge of the uh, the Great Wall train. Um the giant structure they use to purify the Purify the um, yellow zones. But yeah, right now we need passage through the wall, and he's like, Well, I could let you through, but um, could you help me with some problems first? And that's what we're gonna be doing here. We're clearing out the trash for him <laughs> because he's broke. Like, we're broke, he's broke, we help each other out. He's having trouble with, um, I guess, Varjaegers. Varjaeger bandits. And he wants us to clear them out for him. <laughs> He's a red lad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... 
<laughs> you know, the other characters are like, well, why don't we ask help from the Great Wall garrison? And then Shikigan's just having flashbacks to Yegor in uh, Singularity. <laughs> he's like, uh, I mean, I could do that, but... I mean, I could do it, but do I really want to? Uh, he's just having all these horrible flashbacks. He doesn't want to do it. He really doesn't. Let's see, we can... You and you. Looks like the enemies are the enemies are mostly concentrated on this side. Not very many enemies on this side. In which case might be better to bring Kerelik on this side. Instead. Yeah, we can try the doing this. And polarized light at the sub base. Was it really that many dolls? I do remember that Shiki Khan's train got um bombed by heavy artillery. Or I don't think that could even be called heavy artillery. That's like super heavy artillery. Oh come on, Carol, like really? You can't reach this guy? That's just pathetic. Gosh. The angry bunny can't run fast enough. So wait, what are these walls? Oh, oh yeah, we're, this is a defense mission as well. This is also a defense mission. Ah, Naru no Hodo Wakatta. I played this one before during the previous beta. So yeah, we need to prevent these guys from crawling all the way here. So we need to put up these walls. Probably should have just went with Nemesis. Yeah, let's let's not use Let's not use Crawlic. This is a bad mission for her. Coastal defense gun, yeah. But you know, if you look from the CGs, that is a really, really big coastal defense gun. Like you would not just call that heavy artillery. That is like super heavy artillery. Um Let's get Nemesis. Let's get Nemesis. Let's bring her to her. I'm just gonna shoot them. It's considered a rail gun. Yeah, I mean, a rail gun. Uh, a rail gun can be heavy artillery, right? Okay, we need Yeah, Nemesis, you are so slow. Since those large kinds of guns are usually transported by a train, a Gustav, yeah. Okay. Need to go ahead and do that. Very good. I like using Nemesis, but any map that needs movement better not. Yeah, pretty much. I remember when, in one of the very first betas, Nemesis had like, there was like an SSR version of Nemesis. And one of her abilities was to pretty much teleport onto a different place in the map. So she had like no issues with movement. I don't know why they hamstrung her like this. There, Gustav, 800mm rail artillery. 
Yeah, I like using yeah, yeah. huge deep sea elids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those uh, coastal defense guns are used against elids in this universe. Giant kaiju elids. Gosh, I wonder what they look like. They must put um, D types to shame. <laughs> You know, D-types are terrible because of how grotesque they are. But in this case, these kaiju elites would just... They just um, inspire fear by how big they are, right? We like big here. We, we like the big. Let's see. Groza, what say you? Hmm? Rosa. Come up here and throw a big old grenade. Oh, they've got medics. How unfortunate. That is so weird. That guy can shoot me, but I can't shoot him. Absurd. Need to get rid of these medics. Hopefully they're not nigh invincible, invisible like some deep creatures see through rather. Oh yeah, that would, that would be so cool actually. That would be so cool. Like it's this giant, you know, 50 meter tall kaiju, but like you can see all of its internal organs. Oh, and it's like, you know, of course it's an elit, so it's got like, silicificate, it's got crystals growing on it, you know? Let's stop using silicification. Let's just let's just use the word crystals because that word is way too hard to pronounce. I don't know why they use that word. It is so annoying to me. I don't think they're a huge kaiju eel. It's pretty sure those guns were just left over. Oh, come on. You're <laughs> That's no fun. Well, just because you've never seen one doesn't mean they don't exist, okay? They're probably out there somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> they aren't that big good for us, but I want to see them. It'd be so cool. Oh yeah, I forgot she has that reaction shot. That's really cool. Let's see. Go ahead and blast that guy before he makes it to the exit. We have the high ground. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. I... I fat-fingered that. I apologize. Isn't that giant flower elid one of them? I get, it, it is. But it's not a deep sea creature, is it? It lacks the romance. Have something from, coming from the deep abyss. You know what I mean? 
It's it's not the same thing. You know, there's there's romance to giant monsters. Specifically those that come from the unknown. You know, it's a terror from the deep. Uh, which, uh, by the way, we haven't been able to get one of those in a while. People have been waiting for XCOM Terror from the Deep, and it's not... It's not... It's not been provided. You know, Firaxis has not provided us. They have not delivered Terror from the Deep. We've been waiting for it. When... 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 What year did... Um, XCOM 2 get released. It's been so long. We're, we've been waiting. We are hungry. That's why I'm playing this game now. There's no new XCOMs. Let's see. Uh, Colossal Squid Elid. Oh, that reminds me of uh, Red Alert 2. The giant mind-controlled squids. <laughs> Those are so stupid. I loved it. The great the flower elid attacked the Great Wall train later, causing hundreds of casualties, including mechs until the heavy tanks arrive. Wait, it did? I thought we killed it. Damn. Surprised XCOM did well. Hmm. Yeah, this guy is pretty fucking funny. He's like, I'll help you if you like you. I'll come to your funeral or something along the lines of that. <laughs> oh. As for assistance, I'll like I'll pray for you. <laughs> I'll have you in my prayers. <laughs> I, I, li I like him. Yeah, he's got it. She's like saying, "Oh, compared to the soldiers I've met until now, he's really different." Yeah, he's he's got a screw loose or two. I don't know what he's saying. He's saying something like, um, the troops here are something, something garrison troops. They're not the Great Wall. No, no, this is the Great Wall garrison troops. I don't know what this one is supposed to be. Um... Armored Neko, if you're still here, can you please translate for us what this line is saying? He's saying that they're they're different types of soldiers. They're it's a different um I guess military organization. やってることは同じなのに。兵隊中東軍は主に上海リアの事前清掃と線路の敷設を、そして頂上列車の配置についてからは。Yes. One military is used for clearing the the area around um I guess the territories and the other one is for specifically protecting the trains. If that's what I understand from the Japanese. まあ、とにかく合してでも私たちの通行コードはすでにその指揮官のお友達に変更していただいたので。Oh yeah. So we're going to we're going to Odessa. We're going to go meet up with friends. That's what's going to happen. Uh, go ahead and do this. We're out of stamina. I don't care. We are blasting through this. Didn't think its gameplay would appeal to mainstream audio. That's tr yeah. You'd think, right? But it was somehow the original X. Well, the original Firaxis XCOM. They, a lot of streamers like really got into it. I remember what was it. Dyrus and Lily Pichu were playing it. That was a long time ago, though. That was a long, 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 long time ago. Logistical defense. Ah, okay. That's what it meant. 
Thank you. Logistical defense um, squadron versus um, versus the heavy train, um, the Great Wall train garrison. They're not the same kind of military. Uh, but the the bunny is too angry to care about differences like that. Okay, we'll have the nemesis over on this side. Streamlined enough that it's not frustrating, but deep enough to not be brained. Yeah. Phoenix Point had less success. It suffered an ease of play and also just... It didn't look very good. It, it just... It did not look good. You know, I, I care about aesthetics a lot and the aesthetics were just not there. This might be a map where Angry Bunny would have been good. Oops. Yeah, Angry Bun Bun might have been good here. That's not a Bundir, is he? No, he's not. Good. Was actually pretty effective. Yeah, I did. I did play a little bit of. Um, what was it? Xeno... Uh, Xeno Knots. I did play some Xeno Knots too. Because um, I didn't get into one of the... <laughs> the betas for this game. And I got so... I was tilted so hard about it. I was so salty about it that I... I was coping so hard that I... Um, <laughs> I made a little troll thumbnail that said Throws Frontline 2, but really it was Xeno Knots 2. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made one commenter really mad. They're like, why would you lie about this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was I was just coping. I was just coping because I couldn't get in the game. Let's see. We can move Nemesis over here and she can shoot one of them in the face. I guess we just have to exterminate all these enemies, right? Yeah. I don't want to move too close because these frogs are in the way. I think this is killed two enemies in four turns? Four turns? No. Kill, kill four enemies in two turns? Something like that in the bonus objective. Go ahead and finish this one off. I haven't gotten around to Xenonauts, but I hear it's great modernization. Yeah, it is good. Um, Xenonauts 2 is pretty good, but it's still in development. It's still in early access. 
a lot of the story is not there. Um, it looks a lot better than the first Xenonauts, but... And they fixed a lot of exploits with the aerial combat. Uh, but, you know, the game's still not fully there yet. Um, it could use a little bit more polish, but overall, it, it, I like it. It's more in-depth than Paraxis XCOM. That's for sure. His first jab? What do you mean his first jab? What are you talking about? What what did I do? I didn't I didn't do anything, I swear. I swear, officer, I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. Hmm. I hate these. I hate this so much. But I do like one-shotting these frogs. Freaking assholes. Just a thumbnail. Oh. Uh, trick tricking people with my, um, false girls frontline 2. Um, my false girls frontline 2, uh, thumbnail. I don't feel bad about it, okay? I don't feel bad. <laughs> I was coping. Let me cope. Like, eventually I did get into the... one of the betas, though. Alright. I'll never get over it. Her goggles... are based off of the XRX, um... From Super Robot Wars. So stupid. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Fucking nerd. Alright, what do we have here? Another. Ah, oh, it's the evil plot man. You know, <laughs> this type of dude is exactly the type of um, guy that my my VTuber sister Leah is totally into. She loves the asshole with the glasses who's like abusive and even a little bit pathetic. And especially if they got this like these um I guess bangs in front of the eyes. The pink hair really tops the really tops it though. Yeah, Leah is super into guys like this. I think she recently released like one of those Twitter trends where, you know, you post photos of or images of like, you know, the type of character you like and or like, like a list of characters you like. And all of them had this kind of look with the glasses. <laughs> she has a very specific type. Of course, we've got our, our villain. Our, our, I guess she is a tomboyish villain. She's kind of like a goth, goth tomboy prince. What? <laughs> My perfect plan has gone to waste because of you. <laughs> this fucking guy. He's so sleazy. I love him. That's just bro semi boss for the gym. I like the umbrella user. Um, Darchor. Yeah, Darchor is pretty cute too. I like her. Bad girls like her need to be corrected. Um, where is like... <laughs> Whereas, like, um, beautiful, beautiful girls who, um, who are very princely, like, um, sextons. God, why did, why did they name her that? Sextons, um, 
Yeah, I would like to be bridal carried by her. She's pretty cool. Yeah. Sextons is saying that they need to investigate, I guess. They need to investigate. And he's like, what is there to investigate? They're just... Is this just some low-level bounty hunter who only has second-generation T-Dolls? Why are you wasting my time? <laughs> This fucking guy. He's so sleazy. Are, are you doubting my my decision making? <laughs> this fucking face. Wait, wait, I think I can do that face too. Wait. Give me, give me, let me. Where's the word movie? Did Look, I, I, I can do that face too. Watch watch this. Is it, is it <laughs> look just like him, right? <laughs> this is the face you make when you want to get punched in the face. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, enough with that. <laughs> enough with that, right? Enough with that. my most perfect plan. You've ruined it. How dare you? Are you are you doubting my decision making abilities? You? <laughs> a fool, a simpleton like you would not would not understand. <laughs> oh my god. So un No yara Kekakuni Taishte Kanchiga Yonasate Ryodesu Kaka. Dachur, the doll in front of you is someone who has been doing electronic warfare since 2062. <laughs> Sextant is some instrument, I think, for navigation. Still a bit sus. sus yeah. <laughs> like, I just know that someone's gonna make a Sextant joke. Right? Tan is like a really, really cutesy way of saying Chan. Um, <laughs> which it does not fit her image at all because she's a she's very much like a tomboy prince style character. I wonder what advancement T-Doll goes between years of GFL 1. I mean you can see Darchur has the ability to turn into a giant robot. <laughs> あなたは私の行動を管理するだけの権限を有しておりません。計画が順調であるよう、お祈り申し上げます。かっか。Yeah, Sextons is very polite and professional. She even addresses Mr. Pink Guy, Pink Glasses, by um the title Your Excellency. Uh, but you know, she's giving him backhanded comments, so... <laughs> He's not too happy about that. <laughs> this fucking face! I can't get enough of it. Gen 3 is in full existence now, which is a big thing since Gen 3 is only theoretical in GFL1, yeah. I mean, Ro was only... As I understand it, Ro 635 was just a um, prototype for Gen 3. She wasn't actually Gen 3 proper. Later Gen are more tactical appearance it would take. Uh, no, it doesn't have anything to do with their appearance. It's more to do with, like... I'm pretty sure it has more to do with their um, their mind maps, as well as the the internals of their bodies. So you know, made of stronger, made of stronger materials, um, more power output, smarter. Oh, uh, I 
I think this is one of the missions that I found really annoying. Yeah, we're kind of surrounded. Hmm. We gotta get rid of these guys first. We can ignore the shield dudes. Um, but the switch is here. We want that. We want this cannon. It helps with the fighting. I think we can ignore the bats, though. And we can probably ignore these guys, too. So, you know, just in case, maybe I should bring... You. I do appreciate I do appreciate how strong she is. I wasn't so sure at first, but yeah, no. Nagant is powerful in this game. And I hope they keep it that way. My goodness, why are you so tanky? Go up here, shoot him in the face. They're like gen 6 in RC. Yeah, yeah. They're very high gen, but like so far in the reverse collapse betas, we have not encountered any dolls yet. It's all just been humans. Like apparently all the f enemies we're fighting are basically supposed to be special forces. But I guess they're like low tier special forces because we keep killing them all. Um, I do like the idea that we play as a spook. Like, uh, Mendo is straight up from the intelligence services. He's not regular special forces. He's just straight up from the intelligence service. He's not supposed to be a fighter. Let's see. We want you here. Rosa, can you... you can't nuke them. No, this is not good. The whole thing can't do any damage. Yeah, Abigail, IDW, Abigail and IDW still, and who was the other one? Um, the assault rifle, I forgot her name, but they're still kicking in the year 2093. Um, <laughs> jumping at the chance to kill URNC soldiers. <laughs> I, I quite liked that. Like as soon as Mendo undid the restrictions, they were like, let's kill, let's murder. They were like, they, were, they did it while smiling too. Uh...
It was, oh yeah, Volnet, that's who it was. Oh yeah, they are sh Everyone wants a piece of Groza. Alright, I was a, a bit worried that they weren't gonna die, but they are dead. Okay, why can't I open this thing? Alright. Oh, the range is too short. No, it's not. We can still move. I love this change so much. I love that we can still make an action after we move, or after we flip a switch. Lovely. Now, do we even need the gun at this point? I mean, we're pretty much taking care of all these enemies. And I think on Val or not Velmets, on Abigail's jacket, she still had a Griffin insignia on her sleeve. It was easy to miss it. Oh yeah, so it's revealing that our opponents are using they're using uh, remnants of of um, SF technology. What is he doing? Why is he monologuing at them? <laughs> oh yeah, energy shields are the thing um, at this time of year. I mean, I guess they already had it. Paradis already had it. So I guess normal normal militaries can get their hands on it now too, I guess. Energy shields. Isn't Shiki Khan a wonderful father? What is that pose? Why did he do that? What was it with that arm pose? This man is so sleazy. A curtsy, but yeah, but why? It's so weird. Oh no, it's the red bean. You can't stop him. I just noticed the other machines um, sidestep the red bean. <laughs> they know what'll happen. <laughs> That's kind of cute. If the diner gets all like sidestepped and like look nervously at the red bean. Griffin? Yeah, I, that's what I want to know. Um, actually, I do know. Um, you don't work for Griffin anymore. Griffin and all PMCs under the Neo-Soviet got um, absorbed by the absorbed by the UNRC. So, you know, they're still called PMCs, but they basically work for the New World Government. Um, and they've lost their independence as well. Heavily regulated. So I guess like the new Griffin, it, they just use 
they just use iron blood they just use uh sangvis frangri uh, sangvis uh tech against you now like griffin still exists um i'm not sure if it's broken into several groups uh, and it could be but as i understand it um griffin it just it just is completely controlled by the UR urnc all of the all the pmcs are not just griffin there's there's no freedom to be had wait is this the is this the stage where we fight sextons damn we're gonna have sex finally <laughs> we're finally gonna have sex I'm not even going to bother with the weakness to Turpentine. I'm just going to use <laughs> Nagant over here. Babushka. She'll deal all the damage I need. Kalina says Hellion wouldn't have ever used the beans. Is that so? Yeah, we've got swap units here. Is this the Aegis? Um, I'm not sure. They looked a lot different from how they were in GF1. But yeah, that one carries rockets on its back. Nasty little thing. I'm not sure what this item does, but it does something. Let's see. I don't like you, so you're gonna die. I don't know if you saw the dev stream, but a certain male character had a moment where his VA talked. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I did not see the dev stream. Who was it? Um. Huh. It wasn't Griffin, was it? It wasn't Griffin, was it? I don't think people would be too happy about getting to talk to the Sir Griffin. Oh, it said unknown sil oh yeah yeah unknown silhouette i saw the screenshot of it i didn't realize it was in the dev stream yeah <laughs> i'm not happy about this i do not wish to be addressed by the sir okay we gotta move out of the way Oh, that's great. We can't dodge these missiles. I I'm fucked. I need to break his his voice was on point and hilariously the discord was exploding oh, the most over any of the girls I mean what they weren't fangirling over him were they that'd be very weird that'd be very strange
Wait, why did they target her? Why are they targeting her now? Oh no. Ow. Ide. Nanne da. Oof. Painful. Painful. Okay, clear that off. Both of them in the face. Well, that's interesting. This guy's weak against pistols. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. I need to drop some heals. Why does he have so much HP? Actually, challenging. Surprisingly. Okay, okay. That was really close. Damn it, Babushka, I love you. Okay, that was not sextons. I think this next one, yeah, this is sextons. Um, how do we deal with her again? I think we might need the bunny. She might shine in situations like this. the bunny correction rod of course yeah how dare you wear men's clothing don't you know boy shorts are for boys let's see Can we not upgrade you? Yeah, we can. Why, why didn't we? Okay, um, I think that's kind of buggy. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Like when we move here, we shouldn't... Yeah, it should be able to do that. It's working now. Right, after we beat this boss, we're I'm gonna go to bed. It is very late. I promised to end it earlier. An hour ago. Okay, we're gonna finish off sextons and then we're gonna peace out. I might do another one of these streams. Um, oh my god, this guy. <laughs> The fucking glasses! 
But yeah, he's the guy who hired us actually for this job. Apparently, he hired us for the contract to get the box. But why didn't you just why didn't you just buy the box from us? Uh, kick to the face. Sextons. There's one of her against four of us. Oh, never mind. There is more of them. Aya, ah, yeah, and she is weak to um, rifles. Shotguns, pistols, and fire and turpentine. Coincidentally, we are all of those things. Um, except for Nagant, I guess. Except for Nagant, let's replace her with the bunny. Damn, she's angry. They really nerfed um, Colfame's damage. She is super weak. Or maybe it's because I didn't upgrade her gun. That could be it. Oh, come on, Colfin, really? I like how they made the basic attack um, useful because it used to be with bunny you always used um, the AOE strike uh, but now with the way that support attacks work um, it's actually worth using the basic attack to trigger those oh my goodness we're just not doing anything Not doing any damage. I got by until day chapter three, not even using a healer. Wow, Malice, you must be really good at this game then. Let me have some of that skill. My brain's too small though. Uh, I don't know what these are. These little cones. What does this do? Um, something. I guess it does an attack. In a straight line. Shoot you. Ow. Ow. 
Oh, you, you are hurt. You are pretty damn hurt. Put MP7 in, yeah. She's pretty good. I do like her. Go ahead and cut you up. Cut you up. Yeah, use this one. Oh, jeez. What is with that damage? The bunny just got deleted. <laughs> she just got deleted. Oh man. The heck? What is even going on? This is no good. <sighs> so frustrating. Why is the bunny like this? Why is the bunny like this? What if I... I do this. Oh, come on. It doesn't let me move afterwards. Okay, that's my... <laughs> my last reset. Colic is sadly not great, yeah. Not great. I wonder if they made her work waker something weird has happened um this thing is they're stunned she got double weblies yeah she does and she's got some some weird skin on it oh my goodness what is that got some like gothic armor stuck on it <laughs> freaking larper jeez oh uh, gotta get rid of this dude yeah this is not good we can't output enough damage they keep on spawning more enemies <laughs> Did she just make three actions in one turn? Did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Yeah, what about it? That's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have money. Oh, I wish I had money right about now. Could have wailed for an SSR.
Okay. How much damage does this do? Six. Oh, it's the same thing. It's <laughs> not good. Okay. Broke her stance. Finally. Ah, my eyes. Ah. Ah. My eyes. Ah. Getting flash banged. Oh, that thing hurts. Wait, weird, weird, weird. Rogues is dead. God damn it. Fuck it. Let's just. We don't do any damage either. We don't do any damage. This is. This is not good. This is not good. I don't like this. Maybe I should have stuck with Babushka. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're... Fuck you. We're... We need to do something. Okay, let's go upgrade our equipment. Like, we upgraded our levels, but we need to upgrade our equipment. This would be so much easier if we had Tolo, though. Tolo love would just shred right through her. Um, yeah. Frustrating. So frustrating. Not using Krolik. Krolik sucks. Um, so, we're just gonna go ahead and use MP7. Cheetah should win us the day. Hopefully. Love Cheetah. And Babushka. Rosa. And do we keep do we keep you? Do we wanna keep you? Um so you or Sabrina. Sabrina, the shotgun doesn't do much damage. Krog's sword was not upgraded at all. Hmm. 
How about your nemesis? Upgrade your gun. Maybe if Krulak had a better sword. Well, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I promise I'll beat I'll beat Sextons this time. I'll beat the Sex, and then I'll become the Sex. Okay. Now let's bring MP7. Let's bring. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just do this again. Wait. Yeah. All right. Kondo koso. Tatsu. Kondo koso. So kantani Katara ino Hina I'm scared. I I am scared. I am terrified. Gonna head and rest. All right. Good night, Poke. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it as always. It's just no more talk of MTR, please. <laughs> you know, I, I get nightmares about Diane's boyfriend constantly. It's just always in my mind. Let's see, we shoot him in the face. Oh, okay, we're doing so much more damage. Alright, we're good. We are doing so much better. Okay, okay. <laughs> Be fine. No. No, it's not. This is not okay. This, however, is. Okay, okay. We're good. Until, like, Sextons decides to one shot someone. I just realized she gave us a status effect of some sort.
want you to be standing here. All right, perfect. Okay, that heal is not enough to save Rosa. Still not enough. But you know, sex times is pretty low. Maybe we can just burst her down. Even if she does kill um, Rosa. Ooh, just barely survived that. We can ignore that guy. We can ignore the pine cone of doom as well. Why does she have so much stability all of a sudden? Oh. <laughs> we didn't have to get a proper kill. Okay. She's too strong. Gen 3 dolls, man. I kind of wish this scene was properly animated. Rather than just being um, a piece of art. We just walk away. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to Odessa. Alright. Chapter 3 end. All right, well, this has been a pretty long stream. Um, thank you to everyone for coming tonight. Uh, 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 thank you for everyone for coming tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another. Um, I'm going to I'm going to be continuing the Devil in Me with um, my sister Kuroko Imai. Uh, if you're interested in horror games, um, this one's pretty damn spooky. And I think it's kind of rare to get these sorts of heavy narrative horror games with with another person. So if you'd like to see some of that, I'm going to be doing that tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST. Um, but on Friday, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I might do another one of these Girls Frontline 2 streams either tomorrow or the day after, maybe even on Saturday uh, over the weekend. Um, I haven't decided yet. But, uh, and, and I, it's, I also want to do some, as a reading for Undyne's event in Neural Cloud. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for coming. And, uh, today, that's, what, what, how should we end this? Otsu Frontline. <laughs> Otsu Frontline. We finally made it, guys. It's finally here. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's late. Let's all let's all head off to bed now. <laughs> good night, good night, good night. Oyasumi.